another one. Another one. Welcome to the Come Zone. Oh my God, stop it, Jenna. It's Jenna Roney, Jenna Roney. She's a cutie little tenderoni. Uh, she's doing her thing, her doing, doing her cute little woman thing. She's a divine feminine. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Hey, put some much respect on her name. She's a guy, she's a woman doing the feminine thing. Hey. Hello, welcome in guys. Happy Friday. Can you hear me? I don't want no technical issues today. Um, first, let's okay, let's go down the list. Like, okay, so we got Ice, Gunfighter, Two Turn Mike, Shots, Red Tins, Boss Lady, uh, Who, I'm gonna call you Who, XX Who, uh, <laughs> Demonic Hunter, Boss Lady. I know I said Boss Lady already, but uh, yeah. You guys, welcome in. Happy Friday. I hope you're feeling the Friday vibes. I hope you're ready for the weekend. If anybody's having a rough week, we did it. We made it. We made it to the weekend and I'm super psyched. <laughs> Sorry if I'm talking too fast. Of course, shots. Welcome in. I'm so happy to have you here. Um, in about five minutes, we're going to get Mushu on here. And before I do that, as always, I want to give a heads up to anybody that's new here, especially with the interviews. Um, also, first, guys, make sure to give us a big welcome in. The fact that she's coming in here and giving us her time today, especially on a Friday night, like I always say, time is valuable. So make sure when she comes in, we give her a huge welcome. <laughs> oh, Demon Freeman. Oh, no, that's not how you say it. Did I say it wrong? A demo <laughs> it's a demo gorgon freeman i'm gonna call you freeman welcome in thank you guys for the follow who and 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 freeman thank you guys for the follow sorry i'm just super excited and super hyped i don't know if you can tell by the way that i'm talking um okay so for to Jenna's, i did i think i did <laughs> i don't think i did um what was i gonna say i was gonna say something <laughs> no i'm forgetting everything anyways no um this is what i was gonna say so what was I going to say? But the song you played in Yari Chahe. Oh, of course. That's actually one of my favorite songs. Um, I had, when I had first just met Yari, I'll speak, I'll speak really quick about that song. When I first I met Yari, who did that? Uh, <laughs> Freeman, thank you. Oh, thank you for the follow. Uh, welcome. Welcome to the Come Zone. Welcome to the Come Zone. Um, I probably won't be singing that song today, <laughs> Freeman. But um, I'll have to let you know when I do, if I ever do. Because, uh, yeah, I, when I first met Yadi, I had him play that song. When I think it was like his first stream that I've ever been to. And I asked him, like, can you play this song for me? And he was like, sure. And then I was like, yes. Anyways, so for all of you that comes... <laughs> Um, for all of you that are new here, though, before I get Mushu on here, I want to make sure that I get everything straight. I'm going to announce the Dark Meme Lord of the week for next week is... Da -da -da -da, I should have a drum sound, but I don't. Is Asshat. So, Asshat, I don't know if you're here, but you're the Dark Meme Lord. So, and speaking of the Dark Meme Lord, real quick, guys. Um, I was going to put into the... Uh, I was going to speak with the community first about it, but... Uh, I'm thinking about not doing the Dark Meme Lord anymore just because I feel like 
um, maybe a lot. Of, I don't know. I just feel like a lot of people don't participate and it's kind of something that's not really I don't know how to explain it. Maybe not fun. Maybe not useful. I don't know how to what the right word is for it. But I want to know what you guys thought before I took it away, um, because I know some of you participate in it. Um, but I mean, you, what are you talking about? You don't even do it. You don't do it anymore. You haven't put one in there ever since you've been you were worked against. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Anyways, no, but uh, uh, if you can, if you guys just let me know what you guys think about it later about taking it away or if maybe we should keep it. I mean, I don't mind keeping it. I think it's fun. Asset, by the way, you won. <laughs> Afro, welcome in. No, guys, but before we get Mushu in here about in a couple minutes, um, I was going to say, um, so uh, chat, for all of you that are new here and haven't been to an interview, you are allowed to ask questions yourself from chat. Um, I try to get to the the your guys' questions as fast as I can. Just so you guys know, I have a format and I go by the format. And let's say that you guys kind of have a question that maybe goes to a topic that I already have in there. I'm probably going to wait to ask her about it or ask my guest later. That way we're not jumping from topic to topic. Um, that's just because I don't like doing that. That's just my style. Um, <laughs> but, um, but yes, no, please. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Gunfighter. Please at me and highlight your message. So it's way easier for me to see just because sometimes they can get lost in there, especially when I have my guests on here. I try to be very respectful and, um, I try to, um, actively listen to what they're telling me, um, because I like to be respectful. And I just remembered I didn't grab my twisted tees, so I'm going to have to BRB, but which will be fast. Um, and no, you don't test. No, you don't need, this is not a cult. I would like to make this clear to all that are new. This is not a cult. This is not a cult this will never be a cult the only thing that's ever come close to being a cult is having good fighter in here that is the closest thing <laughs> and, and people listening to her <laughs> which is scary but um forgot it's not a secret collecting oh god um but hold on guys it's already 805 but brb i want to go grab my twisted tees so real quick right i'll be right back Okay. Alrighty. Okay, I'm back. All right, let's go get Mushu. We gotta go get Mushu now. Okay. Let's see. I can't see. Don't do this to me. Oh, I'm so excited. Um. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Let me just get her up on the screen first. A lamp. Oh God, no! Don't let me know. Ernst, welcome in. How are you, Ernst? um let's see hello can you hear me hello yes oh i can hear you perfect okay <laughs> hold on give me one second mm -hmm. um no how do you how do i do this oh here we go perfect all righty let me just move this over everybody this is mushu so everybody please Please give a big welcome to Mushu the Great, a aka the Demon Slayer in Call of Duty. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Mushu, can you please introduce yourself to chat? Uh, hi, my name is Mushu the Great. Uh, I'm a variety streamer. I play a little bit of everything and I'm a little <laughs> nervous, so please bear with me. <laughs> <laughs> Mushu, uh, by the way, happy Friday. Oh, uh, you know, happy Friday. Let's go. <laughs> uh, one second. I'm gonna. My bad. Oh, sorry, gunfighter. I didn't make a timer. That's my bad. But um, everybody, before I start with the questions, uh, just a heads up. I do have Mushu's links, uh, her social links, even her Twitch link links up there pinned. So please don't be afraid to give her a follow, a like to show that love and support um so mushu first question Hi. of the interview <laughs> uh, so what did you do before streaming uh i actually just worked all the time and went to a uh, community college mm -hmm. um i didn't really think about streaming i just did it for fun at mm -hmm. the time 
uh, I didn't obviously have any viewers, <laughs> but that was back in like BO3 type days. Uh, what, and then I stopped. Uh -huh. I'm sorry? No, I was going to say, what's BO? I've never heard. What's BO3? Uh, Black Ops 3. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> but yeah, I, I used to do it back then. And then I stopped because I was just into the money grind. Um, and then I guess when COVID happened, I went back into it just a, a tiny smidge. And then I stopped and then I was just back on the money grind. Um, and then officially, I kind of got back into it because of my boyfriend, because he started streaming. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I guess I can give it a shot now that I have a little bit of more time. Mm -hmm. um, and then we actually raided through his account on, I believe it was Firstborn. If not, it was uh, Ghost of three, 300. Mm -hmm. um, and then I kind of started growing my community through there because I was getting really involved into their like Discord community and their channels. So that's kind of how it got started. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, before all that, what made you get into streaming? Like, like, um, like for me, I only had heard about streaming, like about, um, about like from friends, they were like, Hey, did you know, like there's girls that like, they just stream and play games. And I was like, no way. I was like, that's not real. And they're like, yeah, not just girls. Everybody can do it. Um, so I'm just kind of curious, like what, like what made you get into it? Like the first time? Hmm. That's hard to say, to be honest. I was just bored. <laughs> <laughs> to be frank with you, I was just really bored. Like, I, like it was just school, work, and then mm -hmm. video games. Okay. That was basically it. And then uh, when I did stream, I did have, like, a little, good, like, friend group. Um, and we would play Fortnite most of the time. And that's kind of how I was just like, ah, I mean, it's for fun. I'm not really going to get into it. And then look at me now. <laughs> <laughs> You're like getting more into it. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Sorry. Um I'm no, you're really good. <laughs> no, 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 you're totally fine. Um, I try to make this as comfortable as much as possible. Um, what do you are you you doing it to me, gunfighter? What did I did I do something wrong? I think I did something. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I think I messed something up. One second, Mushu. This is on me. You're good. Can we? Oh, okay. My bad. I didn't see that. I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, They would like, so chat would like to see your tattoo if that's okay. Oh, which? Oh, all of them? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I mean, if you, I think, I think they're talking about the one on the arm. Or, or oh, your, on your my, arm right there. Yeah. My dagger with the snake. Oh, wow. it's an original from my tattoo artist. It's one of one. He's never going to make it again. <laughs> oh, wow. That's really cool. Uh, yeah. So what's the meaning behind it? Uh, to be honest, I like daggers. Mm -hmm. I like snakes. Yeah, I would never touch a snake, though. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the feel of it. Not the feel like the, the, the aesthetic. Look. Oh, OK. I, I get what you're saying. Uh, that's actually really cool. I always wanted a tattoo. Uh, I don't have any currently. Um, one day, I think. I'm hoping one day. <laughs> I only have seven. And they're not that... I mean, this one is my favorite, obviously. And uh -huh. then I have this one on my side. Oh, wow. Which, oh, I don't wow. Know if you can actually see it, but yeah. No, you can see it. That looks really cool. So what's the meaning? Because I noticed you have, like, another one on that, like, that circle. Uh, what is the oh. meaning for both of them? Oh, wow, you have another one right there. <laughs> That's so cool. I'm sorry. I don't have any. And I like tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this one is the Hunter Hunter uh, silhouette. So this is Gone and this is Kiowa. It's the anime. Uh -huh. uh, this is the dagger of Purapika. Uh, and then I got this one for Mother's Day. This was actually my first tattoo. Oh, wow. Uh, this big one is also another original from uh, I all of them are from the same tattoo artist, but this mm -hmm. is also an original. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, and then I so, got my Medusa. <laughs> I like I like that. I, I'm going to say that's my favorite out of all of them. Yeah. Uh, just because I like I like this. Well, OK, Medusa's story is actually really sad, 
But yes. um, I find her. Is it? Ah, Yadi, stop. Thank you, Yadi. Um, <laughs> would you say? Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe as the aesthetic of, around her, and maybe that's not the right word. But I guess I don't know how to explain it. But I find it cool. <laughs> Yeah, it, I, I like the story from her is really is sad, but it yeah. has a lot of meaning. And mm. I, I don't know. I, I really always wanted the Medusa on me for some reason. Yeah. Um, so when he said that he had uh, an available appointment, I said, "Well, book me because I'm going." <laughs> <laughs> You're like, "I'm ready. Let's go." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So chat actually wants to see all of your tattoos, if that's okay. Oh, well, that's all that from that one. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the seventh, I can't really show you. Oh, I hit my oh. chin. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Those that's are about beautiful. It, <laughs> I want them. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I want your tattoo. <laughs> so are you planning? Yeah. Are you planning to get like a sleeve? Are you wanting to like one day like cover up yes. your arms? Oh, wow. So you're like, you're on this on both that arms or just one? Uh, for now, just the one that's already kind of half full. Okay. And then maybe you're probably thinking maybe like the your other arm. Yeah, I want to. I'm, I'm thinking about it. It's because like I want an anime sleeve. Oh, so, okay. Uh, me and my tattoo artist are planning to do mm -hmm. it. So we're like trying to get pictures and stuff going. So Okay, that's, that's to be determined <laughs> <laughs> that's actually really cool um i was gonna say i was gonna oh okay so out of all i don't know if this is a dumb question like i said i've never gotten a tattoo um mm -hmm. hold on gunfighter i will ask her your question um out of all the, the places sip, on your arm this is a fucking oh. catalina wine <laughs> oh, oh I, wait okay we gotta take a gotcha. sip real quick <laughs> wait un momentico you're good you're good <laughs> ready let's do it <laughs> Mm. that's a good drink <laughs> thank you persistent um so out of all the places on your arm where you got it would you say the pain was like the same amount or would you say depending on which part of the arm you got it on hurt more so than it, the rest honestly it depends on the person how much they can like tolerate mm -hmm. uh, but for me personally the most pain was near my elbow oh uh, okay uh, i've heard that yeah yeah and then like towards like the shoulder blade that's where oh I've yeah heard. i've heard that as yeah. well i've heard like the i've heard the ribs hurt really bad oh um, yeah i've heard oh, where else i know the foot i heard part somewhere on the foot it hurts really bad <laughs> And honestly, like after like you take breaks if you want to, right? Um, and like after like the second break, you start feeling it a lot more because obviously the, yeah. the thing is there. Yeah, this actually took like six hours. Oh wow! And then I think this one took eight. eight? Could be oh wow! Okay, how long did the Medusa one take? Uh, like two, three hours. Didn't take that long. Okay, that's not too bad. So, yeah. um, chat wants to know, would you ever get a face tattoo? No. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> no, I, I would, I wouldn't. Cause you know, like those filters on Snapchat, you, they have like uh -huh. the, the face tattoos filter. Oh uh, yeah. You tried I that? I tried it. I said uh, no. You're like, I'm not <laughs> feeling it. I don't think I could do it. <laughs> No, I just the the needle literally like right near your skull. You no, know, I'm good. No, I don't think I could do that. I think the thing like the closest thing that I would probably do to my face or the closest to my face is like maybe be a tattoo behind my ear. But that's as close oh. as we're gonna get. <laughs> would you I ever... look one of that? Yeah, yeah, they look cute. I'm not gonna lie, they look cute. Um would you ever get a tattoo inside like inside of your lip? <laughs> Which lips? <laughs> then over um, your mouth <laughs> i can't do it. your mouth not the butt not the butt is that no no you're talking about that's not the lips not the butt you're talking about the other lips no you said the butt no okay okay <laughs> would you okay so <laughs> okay I, okay now that's just 
<laughs> okay, now that just leads into, would you get a tattoo on your butt and would you get it on the inside of your mouth lips or would you get it on your vagina lips? Oh my god, no, not <laughs> Rocket, welcome in. Maybe, maybe on the butt. Really? Okay, what would if, you get on the butt? If, if it was on my butt. Uh-huh. <laughs> this joke has been said before. I would put W on one cheek and W on the other. Spread them. What do you get? Oh wow, <laughs> that's funny. Um, my that's so funny because growing up on my dad's side, um, my grandma's really against tattoos, um, oh. and so and so she would um she used to joke that any tattoo that he's ever gonna get or is it would have to say mom on it and he said mm. that he would get it on his butt so <laughs> that's actually really funny that you said that oh rocket. yeah <laughs> when i got my first tattoo uh my dad didn't speak to me for a month and i worked wow. with him oh wow that's awkward <laughs> at the time that was crazy and then when i got my second one uh he didn't talk to me like for two weeks oh, it was wow. just going down <laughs> oh, like he's just trying to get used to it. Yeah. Yeah. He still I, is. <laughs> yeah, and I notice it's like the older, the older gener like way older generation. Cause like my mom has I think four or five and my dad has like a couple, so I know they wouldn't care. But I notice it's like my great aunts and my great uncles that are like, No, that's bad. <laughs> like, yeah, that's that's my mom too. Oh really? Yeah, but my sister, she's the one who started. She broke the chain, basically. She was oh. the one who got the tattoos first. Uh huh. And then um, she was the one who. We actually have the same turtle tattoo, but hers is on Aww. her foot, like on her actual. Yeah. Foot. And then, oh. um, so she did that, and then my mom thought that she influenced me to get tattoos, oh. and I was like, no, because back in middle school, I was learning how to draw from a tattoo shop. So naturally, I knew I was going to get a tattoo sooner or later. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> my um, I'm the oldest. And so my mom actually used to do that to me. Like whatever I did, she'd be like, she'd be like, see, Jenna, do you do you see the influence that you put on your sisters? Like I used to get blamed for everything if they did something. And I was like, I'm like, what? <laughs> um, yeah. So that was my sister. <laughs> So, uh, would you ever get a tattoo of the legendary pupusas? Would you? <laughs> the legendary pupusas? Yeah, would you ever get a tattoo of, like, a pupusa on you? If I'm drunk. I like that answer. <laughs> Probably. You know how you get dumb stuff when you're drunk. <laughs> I'd get a pupusa on me. I know that sounds dumb, but I think I'd do it. <laughs> it, it. But the thing is, it would look like a tortilla. Just the yeah. Just well, the it would have to be like a really good artist, I think. <laughs> or else it would be. Yeah. yeah. Um. So, uh, you're not the oldest, right? Are you the, are you the middle or the youngest? I guess you can say middle because we're four. Oh, okay. Yeah. I have my older sister and then it's me and then my younger sister and then my brother. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. I have. Uh, how's it? How? How does it feel to have a brother? Uh, greatest thing ever because he's so little. <laughs> oh, lucky. Um, I actually <laughs> spoil him yeah, the most, baby. to be honest. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's how um, I so I'm the oldest, like I said, and I have two. I only have sisters. I don't have no brothers. Uh, first of all, thank you, Red. Thank you for the bits and um, Rocket. I'll make sure to say happy birthday to you. Um, but no, I was going to say um, uh, and for my youngest sister, I, I used to really spoil her when we were like younger. Not anymore. She's mm -hmm. turned. She's in. She's not. a. Yeah, <laughs> she got too spoiled. <laughs> yeah, my my little sister is spoiled. Mm hmm she's about to be 15 so she's at that age that she's annoying little brat yeah that's um yeah my youngest sister is like super super um i love her but super annoying and super yeah just from being spoiled i think they've turned into monsters yes <laughs> <laughs> um 
But, uh, okay. Oh, okay. So here we go. Continuing with the interview. Sorry, with the yeah. interview questions. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Mushu, because you said you've been on and off, but um, how long have you been streaming for? Oof. Like, officially, officially, not even maybe like three months. Oh, officially. Okay. Officially? Okay. Yeah. The on and off, I mean, that's back in like 2019, probably. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. So being on and off. So um, what's the longest then that you've been really like consistent with it? Right now, actually. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, so three months. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So how how has your content changed since you started, like going back 2019? I'm very talkative now. I used to not say anything during the stream. I would probably just cuss when I get mad or something. <laughs> yeah. um, but now it's more like I'm actually like commentary, I guess you could say. Mm. Um, and now that I have like this, I mean, it's not the greatest, right? But I have like a good layout now. <laughs> <laughs> I can play the music, yeah. I got the channel points, like it's yeah. it's great. Now that I have all that, I have like a good uh I guess now a schedule going too. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay. Time management is so needed when doing this. Yes. <laughs> so what do you think helped you what what do you think helped you kind of push to get out of that like quiet zone? And into that, like, I guess we'll call it, yeah, like, commentary zone, like, to be able to start talking. Um, whoa. Sorry, that was my headset. Um, <laughs> so, I don't know, to be honest. I just started being a little, like, I don't care what people think. I don't yeah. care what they say. Um, and when I started getting more involved into, like, the communities, I started getting comfortable because yeah. I know that they would be in my stream and I would get to know them a little more. Mm -hmm. So I was definitely growing more of a family instead of like just friends that are online. Yeah. Um, and I knew I could rely on them to join my stream, you know, interact mm -hmm. or I get to play with them. They invite me. Yeah. It, it was just a lot of that. And that caused me to like obviously get out of my comfort zone, which mm -hmm. I appreciate because I was really shy <laughs> i would probably never accept it to do this uh -huh. uh, but you know i'm still just a tiny bit shy it was like i'm still nervous but yeah we out here <laughs> <laughs> hi yeah i get you i'm so happy i'm actually very happy that you did this um and i hope and i, I try really hard to make or not yeah i try my best to make it comfortable because I, I definitely understand about getting nervous. Um, I, I still get really nervous, <laughs> believe it or not. No, I see it whenever you start your interviews. I noticed when I was looking at the other one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like when I first start, I, I talk really fast. I, I talk so fast that I don't even make sense. I won't stare at the camera because I'm like going all over the place with my eyes um yeah and then i think um everyone notices and they're like calm down oh. <laughs> yeah they do they uh i get yelled i don't i don't get yelled at but yeah chat that's actually what i like about chat and like the community um they kind of tell Take a me sip, bitches oh <laughs> we always sip. Sure. um oh cheers cheers oh oh <laughs> <laughs> Mm. hey persistent um no but chat that's what i like about them they'll they'll tell me where i'm messing up and they'll mm. and they'll even tell me um they'll tell me they'll even tell me and, I, and I, i'm not gonna lie i'll get like frustrated not with chat but like with myself because i'm just like ah. like okay okay i get it guys <laughs> like, like i get that i'm i'm not doing this right or, or that i'm too anxious or too nervous and so i get even more kind of flustered and so um yeah <laughs> so, no i mean funny. i see it right but like it's cute oh thank you <laughs> and she's like or oh, whatever thank you <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, so Mushu, Mushu the Great, what is the story behind your username? Do you know Mulan? I do, the movie, right? Mulan? Yes, ma'am. Uh, oh, wait, is it Mushu, Mushu the Dragon, right? Oh, it is? I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> Okay, it's because I, I don't really watch Mulan that I don't watch it very often. And so oh, um, that is crazy. Oh, I like that. So what makes you um, like such a big fan of Mulan, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, honestly, the storyline of Mulan, obviously, is it's really if you remember it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the fact that she cares so much about her dad yes. and that she would rather go to war than him because obviously mm -hmm. he's a little older. He was already injured back when he went to war. Yeah. And then the fact that she was willing to do that because she could have been killed if they caught her. Right. Oh, and they obviously yeah. did. But it was a sacrifice for him, her saving the lieutenant at the time right mm -hmm. so i just think it's a really good way of showing how strong women can be uh mm -hmm. willing to take on things that might make them uncomfortable but still willing to do it because they care about someone yeah um it's just a really good storyline and then obviously mushu uh <laughs> is it has a great character uh he even did it well he kind of did it at first for his benefit right but then yeah. He got him more involved with her and then started realizing, you know, you can help each other and still get what you want, but you're still getting a good friendship in the long term, yeah. basically. But yeah, I named uh, Mushu for everything, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, though. When you say that you name Mushu for everything, what do you mean? Like, do you have like a pet named Mushu? Yes. <laughs> oh, OK. <laughs> do you have a dog? Is it a dog? No, it's a cat. <laughs> oh, okay, that's okay. I love cats too. <laughs> yeah, he's my little boy. He's actually in the room because if not, he would be all over me right now. <laughs> oh, I love. See, some cats can be like that, and then I'm not gonna lie. I've met cats like my sisters, and they can be assholes. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait. Oh oh, are we gonna see him? Oh, this is Mushu. <laughs> he's so hey, precious. I want He's only now. five months old. Look at the camera, Papa. He's only five months? Yeah. <laughs> I want a cat now. Oh, <laughs> I want a cat now. <laughs> if anybody wants to send me a cat, they can. <laughs> All right. He's done. <laughs> um, I was going to say, I have a dog. <laughs> well, I have two dogs, but you don't want to see him. Just kidding. Oh, um, why? <laughs> No, they, they, no, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> no, um, I bet they're not. At, yeah. Um, welcome in Project Corn. Um, and welcome in Mar 27. Thank you for joining. Um, <gasps> that's my buddy Omar. Oh, oh, Omar. I said, I called him Mar. <laughs> I called him. Well, I mean, his name is Rakmar, yeah. but you know. <laughs> Oh, Rakmar. Okay. Oh, is that an, I can't see. I, I thought that oh. was an O. Okay. No, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> we won't talk about it. Um, so, uh, Mushu, um, okay. what what would you say similarities that you have with that character Mushu from Mulan? Hmm, that's a good question. <laughs> Thank you. That's all that I ask. <laughs> it's <a> good questions. <laughs> oh my god, they're all good questions, obviously, mm -hmm. but. Honestly, I don't know. Uh, he has a sense of humor. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. He's loud when he needs to be, which I'm loud when I need to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, he's obviously puny, but he has such a huge <laughs> spirit. Yeah. And I feel like I have a huge spirit as well. So I think that's probably something I can relate to Mushu. And oh, he's red. Yeah. And I love the color red. So. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> that's really cool. And he's a dragon, right? Yes. That's what's cool about him, too. I, I always thought is that 
Because usually when you think of dragons, they're so big, but he's just this like cool. He's tiny. Yeah, yeah tiny looking dragon just slithering around. He was like, I think he says it in the movie. He's like, I'm travel size for your convenience. Oh, <laughs> I travel all. Uh, we're talking about uh, Bushu. Not, or wait, which one? Oh, I don't know. No, and I didn't take that question from you, Gunfighter. I know it was, it was, that question was from Gunfighter. I need to make that clear. She's going to get, like, super upset. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, so, Bushu, how, how has your content changed since you started? Uh. Take a sip, wait, bitches. This is the fucking Catalina oh, wine mixture. I didn't, I was going to say. Oh. Mm. Um. How how has your content changed since you've started? Mm. Didn't we kind of already answer this? Did we? Did we answer? Yeah. Did I ask this already? Oh no, my so. bad. Oh, I've never. Done yeah, because I was like, I didn't really have much. Now that I have the channel points. And... Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've fine. never, good, I've never done that before. <laughs> yes, yeah, I always one. mess up. Oh, uh, Mar, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Oh, okay. Uh, before we actually move on to our next question, um, to continue about um, about Mushu, this is from Ernst. Um, if you were cast as Mushu, would you portray him the same way or add your own flair to it? I would definitely add my own flair to it. Oh, okay. I like that. <laughs> yeah, because I, I make a lot of... Well, obviously it's a kids movie, so you can't. Yeah. I can't say that. But if it was for like actually adults, I put like some gay remarks, you know. Can you give me Add a little like, spice to it? Can you give <laughs> us a preview? A little preview of that. <laughs> I think it's time to go. Wait, no, don't go. <laughs> I don't think I could do it right now. Let me get a little more lit, and then maybe. Mm. <laughs> Okay, okay. You know. Oh, also, um, you know, you can always take sips, take more sips if you need to, or if you want to. I do it. Um, if that's if you want to, you don't have to. <laughs> I've been doing it. Whoops. Oh no, you're no, you're good. I'm saying no. <laughs> I've been doing it too because I'm almost done with my can. <laughs> been... Oh, wait. Let me catch up. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. Okay. Um, okay, so oh Jesus, Rain, don't do that to us! Don't do that to us! They're trying to make us do twenty sips in an hour. That is crazy. Rain, twenty rain. sips in an hour? Yeah, because that's of like work. That's a lot of work. Oh God! No, don't do that! Don't do that to chat. Welcome back, Project Corn. Um, I was gonna say. So, what is your overall goal with streaming? Like, would you want it to make it more into a career or would you want to keep it as a hobby? Honestly, I really want to keep it as a hobby for right now. Mm -hmm. um, because, like, I do enjoy streaming. Don't get me wrong. Yes. Uh, but there's times where I do get burnt out. Uh, and then I mm -hmm. won't, like, I won't get back on for quite some time. Um, I don't want that to happen this time, though, because I, I've already worked so hard to get it to where it's at right now. Mm -hmm. um, but <clears throat> maybe later down the future when I'm yeah. older and I don't want to work anymore, <laughs> then I'll totally make this as a career. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I but right that. now, I like, I like being up on my feet and, you know, being active, I guess you can say, at work. Yeah, I can see that too. Um, uh, I kind of, I'm not going to lie. So I i had quit my job in June of this year to be a full-time streamer. And um, I, I do miss people. <laughs> I'm not going to oh. lie. <laughs> I kind of like miss people. real people like, yeah, in like, front of you. <laughs> well, yeah, just like in front of me, physically being able to see, like, see them and talk to them. Um, but also I do understand about it, about you getting kind of drained especially yeah. when um especially when you're just being out there and you're talking to a lot of people and you're going to a lot of streams and you know you're also being a supporter as well as a streamer and yeah. so 
um yeah that can that definitely it can be really draining and um yeah so i definitely understand where you're coming um from on that and i even had to take a step back and be like okay i need to handle my time management better because i don't want to get pooped out from this like you know yeah no i i've i already probably experienced it already at one point during these three months um mm -hmm. i was burnt out from work because i i have so much to do oh, at work right yeah um and then when i got home i just wanted to sleep like i didn't want to do anything but i knew that i wanted to still be involved into everybody's streams yeah hence why they call me their sugar mama sometimes mm -hmm. <laughs> um but yeah it, it's just a matter of like time management too like you got to make sure you're not overworking yourself yes yeah. Even though I still only get like three or four hours of sleep. Oh but my gosh. Oh my gosh. I, the point. <laughs> yeah, especially, and you're working a first shift job, which yes. is even already rough in itself. And yeah, I have and to it, be up by 4 or 4.30 in the oh morning. Oh God. Yeah. Uh, Take a sip, bitches. This is a fucking oh. Catalina mixer. <laughs> by the way, thank you, Project Corn, for the compliment. <laughs> mm. I'm not evil though, by the way, guys. Um, but yeah, four four in the morning. That's yeah. I and mind you, I still I get there right, and then I get out at two. Mm -hmm. I either come home, take a nap. If I can't take a nap, I'm up and doing stuff with my dad or whatever. Yeah. And then I get on at six. I want to aim for two hours of stream, right? But I end up going for four. <laughs> oh and then i get off it's like 10 or 11 i go to uh -huh. sleep it's like 12 or 1 and then i oh, start it all over again <laughs> that's um, my life yeah i i could yeah that used to be uh that used to act that used to be my life i worked at i don't know have you ever heard of tyson yes yeah so i worked at tyson before this and i had worked there and before I was on second shift and I used to work from 2 p.m. to midnight and I mm. used to, and I used to get home like at 1230 because I lived 30 minutes away. And then, yeah, and then I ended up getting on first shift and having to wake up like at five. In the, and I thought first shift was going to be so much better, but I'd get up at five in the morning and at my job, it was depending on how my schedule was during that day. So sometimes um, I wouldn't get off to like four four thirty. And then sometimes I still wouldn't even be off because I would still have people like messaging me, emailing me because I used mm -hmm. to take my laptop home and it'd be like seven o'clock and I'd have like my like people just asking me questions about stuff. And I'm just like, oh, my God, like, I just want to be off of work. Like, yeah. I'm home. Like, I don't want to I don't want to deal with this stuff right now. Like, it's going to have to wait until tomorrow. So, yes, Project Corn, Tyson, chicken, but they do more than chicken. <laughs> But yeah, so uh, that's the motto. <laughs> that's the motto. <laughs> no, when I tell you, girl, when I where I used to work, I used to work for a straw company, right? We made oh, straw. Okay. And uh, right there, it was twelve-hour shifts, Monday through Thursday. Oh God. I I did the morning shift for like a couple years, like two or three years, and then on like on the fourth year, I did night shift. Mind you, this is 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., right? Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, there was times where if my dad didn't go, I would do his job. So at that time, I would do 15, 16-hour shifts, and I would still oh, go God. home, go to sleep, and then wake up and do it again, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, but the, at the time as well, I was also going to school. I was also going to the gym. It was crazy, girl. I don't know how I did it. I think that's why I messed up now. <laughs> yeah no i get that um i definitely understand that it was funny because growing up my mom she never went to college around my age and mm -hmm. so she would um always encourage me because she always worked in a factory and she did it for like 12 years and actually now she's going to college to become a registered nurse and um Ooh. But yeah, she used to tell me all the time, Jenna, don't, you don't want to be like me. You don't want to work in a factory. And I was like, oh my God, no, it's not even that bad. And I would, and like you, I always just had that, that money mentality. Like I wanted that money yeah. now. 
and um and so yeah i would look i would work um i just go in and do all those hours but then you realize like wow like i don't want to do this forever <laughs> like exactly you get worn down so fast especially with jobs that make you work six days a week more than like more than half the year you know yeah nah but that's my dad right now he keeps telling me to go back to school and obviously get a good career and not mm -hmm. do this warehouse forever yeah um and obviously i want to do that too but like uh mm -hmm. actually before cur like cur what the hell covid yeah. <laughs> um, before covid hit uh -huh. i recently just got my car and oh, okay. at that point i was fully committed on making payments so that means i had to be on my money grind i couldn't uh -huh. go back to school yeah so and now it's you know it's just time has flown flew, oh yeah flown. time See? flies yeah time flies by when you're just working and constantly working <laughs> yeah oh i, I do want to go back though that's for sure <laughs> oh yeah um uh, i was gonna say we always um i'm supposed to take a shot um, I don't know if you want to take one with me. Jayla, Jayla, welcome in. Nice to meet you. Uh, welcome yeah. to um, the cum yeah. zone. One second. Take a sip, bitches. Hi. This is a fucking cat. Oh, and, and we also, well, we also a sip. <laughs> All right, give us one second, Project Quarant, and we will be taking a shot. <laughs> Jayla, how you doing today? <laughs> Happy Friday, by the way. I hope your weekend's off to a good start. So we're taking a shot and a sip, or we're we taking just a shot. We have to take a shot and a sip. But remember, oh, you don't have to do the, this if you don't want to. Bro, the day I'm about to have tomorrow, I'm about to drink the whole bottle. No. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Yay. cum zone. Uh, Lobe, welcome in. Thank you for being here. Oh, that's here. my coworker. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> Alex, thank you for the follow. All right. Uh, where's the bottle? <laughs> Welcome thank in, you. guys. Oh gosh, is that Bucanas? Oh yes, ma'am. This is. Oh god. Another. One. Oh god. <laughs> oh god, she's doing Bucanas. Jayla, welcome in. I haven't had Bucanas in a long time, in so long, in so long. That is crazy. And that's pineapple. Where are you missing out? They yes, made a pineapple. <laughs> I used to when so when I was a little bit younger, not that long ago. <laughs> we How old to, are you? I'm 24. I'm 20. A little bit younger. I know. <laughs> well, when I was like 19, 20, um, we I used to that. take it from the. We used to just drink it from the bottle. Oh yeah, just pour it. Yeah. Oh god, we'd get so fucked up. But let me know when you're ready. <laughs> I'm ready, homegirl. Ooh. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Achingo. Mm. Project Cord, I used this one for you. Oh, we always sit. Oh, chingo. Better. Here we go. Mm. Wow. <laughs> um, Mushu. Chat would, uh, chat would like to know what kind of car do you drive? Oh. <laughs> I drive a 2015 Ford Mustang GT. Oh, wow. I can't. So I'm not good with car names, but <laughs> I'm going. I'm not good with cars. I'm not going to lie, but I'm going to imagine that it's beautiful. <laughs> I can. Sh I, uh, let me see. I got you. Yeah. If you could show me, I would appreciate it because I'm I don't know cars. I'm going to be honest. This was um, mm -hmm. back in like the winter time. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, I had Christmas lights on it. <gasps> okay. I want to see. Let me see. I want to see if I can do this. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. How, how long have you had? Oh, wow. How long have you <laughs> had it for? Uh, 2019 is when COVID happened, right? Uh-huh. Was it? Co yeah, That's I think when I got it. COVID. Wow, that is a beautiful car. And I've never seen one with Christmas lights. So that's know, even like I'll more badass. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I bet. That's such a beautiful car. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, what's a. 
So Project Corn says that they're getting a GT three fifty one day. Is that is that mm -hmm. looks is it similar to how yours looks or is it a little bit different? Uh, different. <laughs> She's like uh different. <laughs> My bad. I told you I'm not good at cars. <laughs> um, I am the worst. I'm sorry. I'm the worst. Definitely different, but that's definitely yeah. It's old school for sure. I think. Um. So. <laughs> Let's oh, see. New. Oh, a new. Oh, 2017. Ah, got you. Got you. Got gotcha, you. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. Gotcha. All right. I'll have to look that. I'm gonna have to look that up. GT 350. I'm gonna write it down so I can make it up later. <laughs> um, I I'm sorry. I don't know cars. If my, uh, if I, I'm so sad because if a cop was ever like, if somebody tried to like murder me or if I saw somebody rob something and then ran off, they're gonna be like, what car were they in? I'm gonna be like, I don't know, blue. <laughs> I think it was red, maybe black. Well, I don't they're, know. They're gonna be like, well, what kind of car was it? I'm gonna be like, I don't know, I had four doors. <laughs> I don't know. Um, no. But um so back to streaming. Um, what is something that you would add or take off Twitch that could help streamers more? Mm. Well, I I haven't really Take a experienced sip, bitches. like a the, wine mixer. the payout, right? Uh -huh. Obviously, everybody's going to kick only because uh -huh. the payout's better, right? Yeah. But one thing that I like about uh, Twitch is the the interaction you get to do more. Uh, obviously, on kick you could do gifted subs, but you can't do biddies, and I feel like biddies um mm -hmm. is more of an in interactive with the streamer and the the person behind the screen you know mm -hmm. um i feel like that's a w for twitch um i can't really say much of a negative only because mm -hmm. i haven't really experimented more with twitch i just yeah i just put it live you know that's all i do <laughs> Uh, but I really do need to do my research. That's for sure. I have, I only did this for three months. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get it. Um, I also need to do a little bit more research. Um, especially well, with all what would stuff. you do? What would, what would you do to like take out or put in for Twitch? For for me, I it would be the music. I I wish oh. that we could play any type of music, unlimited music, without having to get striked or yeah getting a strike or getting muted off our videos or you know that that's the only thing that really bothers me about twitch is that i wish i could play music and not have to worry about it being copyrighted or you know or you know what i mean so yeah the the first video that uploaded on my vod mm -hmm. had music and i got striked real quick i said how do you take this off yeah so um i actually i can't play music anymore because i finally got a I, well i didn't get a strike but i got a warning and they were like hey if you keep doing this um you know you're gonna get a strike and if you get three strikes you're banned and so um but what pisses me off though on twitch if you're listening to me <laughs> what pisses me off is that i'm getting muted and um off music that's off of games that i'm not oh. like they got me for fortnite um, they they got me for Portal Two, and there was another game that they got me for that the music was just on there on the game. Like I was, I didn't go out of my way to play it. So that's what I would change. That's the only thing that I would change about it for my vods. <laughs> yeah, honestly, facts. I second that for sure. Yeah. Uh, the. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. We always sip, by the way. Oh. Welcome in, Ruby. This is my last sip for this one. And then I have to open up a new one. Welcome in, Ruby. Was that supposed to be a sip? Oop. <laughs> yes, I know, Gunfighter. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, here we go. Um, yes, Ruby, take a shot. <laughs> um, so what are some positive and negative? Oh, I can't even talk. So what are some positive and negative experiences that you've had so far with streaming? Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. It could just be me because I'm streaming from a laptop. 
Like mm -hmm. just thing your laptop. Um the amount of cables it needs to keep it running. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, yeah. You should see how many cables I have. It's so annoying. I'm it's like, so this annoying. is what I'm working with, Lord Jesus. <laughs> um let, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Can you ask the question again? I kind of got sidetracked. You're good. Um, so what are what is something positive and something negative that you've experienced so far with Twitch? Thank you for the lurk, okay. Jayla. So for Twitch, obviously, is the music now that you pointed that out. Yeah. Because um, I used to like, or at least, obviously, you know, Rola. Yeah. Um, when he would miss a stream, he would actually go back to my VODs and watch mm -hmm. the videos. Mm -hmm. um, and I appreciated that so much, but now I can't do that because I play music while I play. Yeah. So that's a, a negative, I guess. Uh, positive. Um, like I said before, the, the interactions that you can do. A lot of yeah. interactions. I appreciate that because... For me, it's like getting closer and getting more connected with the streamer. Um, obviously, people don't have to do certain things like donate or like the yeah. bitties or the gifted subs. But a lot of people are really kind and like generous and they do it because they actually care about the streamer. They want to see that that person grow like yes. W supporters. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, like, I want to give a quick shout out. <laughs> of course. <laughs> like afro and like firstborn already mm -hmm. they're probably not here jared xx who you know they're always there for uh -huh. my my streams and i appreciate that so much y'all yeah. have no idea i can't forget about ghosty 300 <laughs> w uh but yeah like it's just crazy how people would just do that for someone like yes. they have never met them in person but yet they're willing to do all that. Yeah, it's crazy. So it is crazy. And like another thing that stands out for me that I always try to remember because I'm, you know, because also being a supporter is that time for me is very valuable. And so yeah. the fact that you have people like using their time out of their day, especially because like for me, sometimes I feel like there's just not enough hours in the day um that you know like they're coming to watch me like ice and especially because there's so, there's so many different time zones and and i'm gonna i'll give a quick shout out to ice who is actually from the uk mm -hmm. and um right now for him it's like two or three in the morning and he he's here almost every not even i think he's missed one or two days from watching me but he's been and i and i stream five days a week and he's been here like like mostly like every like each time and i'm just like oh my god i'm like bro it's two and three in the morning <laughs> like yeah no that's crazy yeah that's like so sweet at the same time like yes. damn <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know and, and I, don't, I don't know about you but for me i do you ever feel like like saying thank you no dice don't go anywhere i'm just <laughs> i'm just kidding no i love you being here ice i really do um but i was gonna say mushu when people give you bits and when people give you subs do you sometimes feel like that when you say thank you like that's just not enough it's not enough that's how i it feel is, it's definitely not enough like i i still get emotional like i don't want to show it uh -huh. but like it's it's i don't know how to say thank you you know what i'm saying like yeah. it's not enough it's it's like wow you're really you're spending your money yes. on on me you know yeah like there's so many other people that probably deserve it way more than myself that's how i think like yeah. i don't deserve it like why are you doing this right yeah <laughs> that's how i feel <laughs> that's exactly how i feel i always feel like oh my god like you just spent your money on me and and like and sometimes i don't know people's situations so like for all i know like that was their last six dollars that they just spent on me and exactly. so it's like it's like what do i it, for me I'm, I'm really a give back type of person so i'm just like what should i do to give back i need to give something that's as equal to it to give back to them to 
show them that I appreciate it. Like, do I show my boobs? Like, do I flash them? Like, <laughs> like what do I do? <laughs> like, I'm I mean, sure. you can show me. <laughs> If you don't want to show it on stream. Oh my gosh, I'm <laughs> Hey, yo. Ooh. Ooh. No, look, he's Wait, saying, though. No. flash <laughs> with you. <laughs> I'll be like, hey, yo, I'll send you my OnlyFans. You get something for free. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. <laughs> Take a sip, bitches. Oh, we always sip. Wine mixer. Here we go. You ready oh. for this sip? I've, uh, I need another bottle. Oh, okay. Señor. What? I, I, Señor. That, just so everyone knows, I don't have that. That's not a real link. I don't have an OnlyFans. Profit, welcome in. Welcome to the cum zone. Welcome to the cum zone. Uh, for all of you that are new here, um, we are interviewing Mushu the Great and drinking. <laughs> Boobs. You love boobs. Chat, put a I one. Boobs. Oh, I was going to say it real quick. Uh, chat, put a one if you like boobs more than oh, butt. And put a two if you like butt more than boobs. I know a couple people that only like ass. Yeah, I know some people. <laughs> Magic corn. <laughs> Yay. Two. two w boob gang. Ruby, oh. she put one to one too. Oh, oh we also we also owe a shot, Mushu. A shot. Okay, so sippy and then a shot. Yeah, we'll do sip okay. and then a shot. Okay, ready? Hello. And pa dentro. Oh, I should have said salud. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then a shot. All right, here we go. Am I working ahead. tomorrow? Shit, I have to. I already said yes. Titties are just nice, aren't they? They're <laughs> soft and squishy. Yes, they are soft. They're soft and they have nipples. What more do you want? <laughs> <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> hey, yo, I saw that my brother-in-law was in the chat. Let's go. Yes, they said this is my sister-in-law. I welcome them in. W I welcome to w the come zone. <laughs> W brother in law. All right. One, two, three. Mm. Oh no. Damn. Mm. It's good, but damn. Not me. <laughs> Not my. Yes, Ruby. Mm, the chocolate. Oh, hold on. What does it say? The, it says the aliens are coming. Um, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, don't think that I didn't forget about you having to give us a preview of doing Mushu. <laughs> She's like, oh. <laughs> um, Suddenly I'm tired and I need to go to sleep. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, so, Mushu, um, what is something that you would do different if you could start completely over with streaming with the knowledge that you have now? Hey. Good questions. <laughs> You're making my brain work. Uh, I'm sorry. It's fried. Hold on. Uh, let me see. I'm feeling it. Definitely, if I would have probably been more involved in the communities in the very in the very 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 mm -hmm. beginning i probably would be a little bit more i guess i have a bigger platform you know what i'm saying yeah so, so i obviously back then i was just me and myself and i playing some games mm -hmm. and like having one or two viewers uh i wasn't watching other people at the time. Mm -hmm. And then as I started to be more involved, I was like, this is how you do it. Yeah. This, being more involved, seeing that you're being more interactive and they're going to start joining you because they saw that, hey, she's really involved. Let me show some love. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's just, I think that's how it should have been in the beginning. But I didn't know that. Yeah. 
I get you. That's how. That's not how I was at first either. I didn't join servers and I didn't. Um, I didn't join communities um, like yeah. that. But um, so real quick, Alex, before I ask your question, I do want to ask Mushu, what advice do you have for somebody that that is shy, um, kind of like kind of like you were at first, like super shy, you didn't really want to, you're super quiet. So what advice do you have for someone that's super shy and that is joining a, a community? Because I know it's, it is hard to kind of try to, because when you join, it, it's awkward at first. It oh, is yeah. kind of awkward at first because you're, you don't know people. And so you're just like, I don't know if like, what if this, you know, like you don't know how to go about it. So what advice do you have for people to kind of, just going in there <laughs> obviously it's a huge step to take that leap to even start streaming yes. um i feel like take your time as much as you need mm -hmm. uh, take the baby steps that you need obviously for me when you start streaming as a beginner you only have your gameplay you don't have a face cam mm -hmm. you don't have your mic like obviously that's future right yeah. And as, start, as soon as you start noticing that people are getting more a little bit more involved in your stream, you start making those upgrades slowly. Obviously, mm -hmm. it's a big financial curve that you need to in order to afford these things. Yeah. Um, you'll start to see the people coming in. You'll start to be like, oh, snap, all these upgrades that I'm making are becoming yeah, worth it. Baby. Um. And at that point, you're going to have to start having that mentality that, hey, people are coming to see my stream. Let me put a little bit more effort into it, Take taking these bitches. baby steps oh, to getting out of my picture. comfort zone. Yeah. And giving content that I want to give mm -hmm. that I couldn't get in the beginning, basically. Yeah. That's, that's kind of how I was thinking to me, honestly, because obviously for me, I only had the ps4 streaming thing broadcasting right yeah i started with xbox <laughs> Ooh, <girl. laughs> and then i made the upgrade to the ps5 and that kind of helped as well because it mm -hmm. has like the built-in capture card i guess yeah um and then i was realizing you know when i was getting involved i was like ah, let's give it a shot you know let's see where it goes yeah and i kind of low-key i grew really fast mm -hmm. not gonna lie i'm imagine this i only had like 50 not even probably mm -hmm. even less followers at the time mm -hmm. and as soon as i got involved i reached the 50 follower mark i reached the 100 yeah. follower mark you know and right now i already passed the 120 follower mark I'm like mm -hmm. i'm growing slowly yeah. But in a fast paced way, mm -hmm. knowing the fact that I only did this three months ago. Yeah, that's crazy. It is wild. I kind of get it like uncomfortable when realizing like sometimes when I see <laughs> that notification was like you passed your uh, your follower goal. Uh-huh. Oh, like, yeah. Do I have to change it again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. It's a, yeah, it's actually it's a really good feeling. And you're just like, wow. <laughs> yeah so i get you honestly yeah the, it's just baby steps like obviously i i even told a bunch of people like i'm really shy mm -hmm. there's times where i still turn off the camera because i feel like i look like a red tomato and i'm oh. like yeah i'm not gonna do this right now <laughs> what no don't ever i mean i feel like i understand what you feel like what you mean because even for me before i get on i'm like like i feel sluggish i'm like i don't feel like it's just not a good time i'm just like nobody look at me <laughs> literally me oh my god i wake up from a nap and i'm like i'm not gonna stream today i'm gonna sleep again and then yeah. i'm like no 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 we gotta stream right because people mm -hmm. are looking forward to it. at least i think some yeah. people are looking forward to the stream right yeah uh, and at that point i'm like i can't let them down Mm -hmm. and there's times where i'm like sleep deprived or uh what's my calls it uh what's my calls it basically that and i'm mm -hmm. still gonna get on the stream you know yeah. it's just I, don't know. I like it i like knowing the fact that i can i can get on and i know there's gonna be people there already just to yeah. watch me 
die. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially the ones that you kind of already yeah, know baby. that are. Oh, Rahola, thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate the biddies. Um, especially I was gonna say, especially the people, because like for me, I don't, I don't know about you, but like you kind of already know like who's gonna be there, and like, yeah. and and so you're just kind of like, ah, uh, yeah, I need to be there. <laughs> They motivate you. Yeah. It's the matter of just looking forward to it, to be honest. Yeah. I like, I look forward to it. Like, there's times where I'm at work when I'm, I shouldn't be on my phone. Mm -hmm. uh, but I still see, like, you know, people getting on and I say, hey, quick hi. And, like, I cheer them, like, yeah. 25 videos. Mm -hmm. And I get off because I got to get back to work, right? But, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's just, it's just that feeling, like, dang, I really am connected to these people in some sort of way. And mm -hmm. I'm, willing to show that support for someone because they showed that support for me and it's just like paying it forward i guess you could say oh yeah i def i definitely felt that um let's see uh hold up real quick uh thank you project corn for that compliment an evil red tomato <laughs> um so real quick and this is from alex um what games do you play and do you play with a group hey alex the great <laughs> uh that's actually a good old middle school friend oh, wow. um uh i play a little bit of everything right now i'm only playing cod mm -hmm. only because fortnite is shocked <laughs> oh really me. okay i mean cod is shocked too right mm -hmm. but uh for fortnite i used to play with a, a bunch of friends actually actually alex is one of them xx who uh omar uh who else tweeter lob i don't even think he's here but his name is chikering on twitch but uh, -huh. uh that's also another person that i play with on fortnite we don't really play anymore because i've been mostly on cod and like everybody has their lives now take a sip uh, bitches now, this is a fucking cavalry uh, wine mixer <laughs> oh shoot oh yeah we owe two sips we owe two sips i two, forgot two. okay we got my bad my bad i'm down Mm. <laughs> um i was gonna okay. say um i was gonna say i know earlier shots had asked um what kind of pc are you getting pc gerda's future what actually uh i don't know what the name is but it's from alienware mm, i don't um... know the name Okay, I but don't know if I, I heard saw it at Best Buy and I was like, "Ooh, you're like that's oh, that's... nice." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, but like for COD, for me, uh -huh. I play with a lot of people now. Well, uh -huh. not on a regular basis. Whenever I get the chance to play with them, right? Yeah. But it's like Jared for sure, which is shots mm. on Twitch. And yeah. then I play with Afro from time to time. Murda um, mm. is also a person that I play with. Uh, Rola, whenever we get the chance. <laughs> Rola. Um, his brother, Rola. <laughs> oh, Trola. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, but I appreciate them so much because Loki, if anything, there was a time that I wanted to quit streaming. Mm-hmm. Uh, even though I was already kind of grinding myself through it, uh, Rola actually kind of convinced me, you know, fuck what people yeah. have to say. Excuse my language. <laughs> no, you're, oh and... no, cuss all you want. We talk about tits, <laughs> vaginas, ass. Say what, it, say what you want. I got you. <laughs> talk about that. That's a separate stream, you know what I'm saying? Oh, no. <laughs> I, I love to play with you. I... Um, it's so funny because when I first started streaming, um, all I did was play COD. And mm -hmm. then I actually evolved into a variety streamer. And um, mm -hmm. But now, recently, maybe two or three weeks ago, I started playing COD again and I've been playing with groups. And I would say it's about, it's a, yeah, it's about the same. It's actually the same people. And um, I've actually been enjoying it. I've been enjoying it more and playing with people. I think it's just more fun. <laughs> it is yeah for sure and like whenever thank you ice <laughs> i don't know it just depends like because there's vibes right oh and when yeah you get it depends that vibe on the and connection going mm -hmm. it's like 
yeah. atomic. It is. It's very nice because not only are you getting to learn about the people that um, are in your community, um, because something for me is I don't want people to feel like, oh, no, just learn about me, 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 because I'm the streamer. Like, no, I want to yeah. learn about you as well. I want to play with you guys. Um, but I, I also do believe, um, depending on who you are and how you play and how you take the game, has to match up with the people that you play with because if you play with people that like, like for me i don't take the game seriously i just i like it to be fun chill laid back so if we don't get the w we don't get the w but i've i've played with people that get very frustrated and they want to get that win they and they get mad at me <laughs> hey yo i know a couple people <laughs> you're just like the same way <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it, there's times where yes i just want to chill and just and just the vibe you know yeah and yeah. then <laughs> later on there's times where i do want to get really competitive and i like i already know who to play with for that okay yeah who to be competitive with mm -hmm. yes like for sure uh tweet a lot he's very competitive <laughs> troller is very competitive uh-huh i feel like murder is also but you know, it's just, it just depends. Like, there's times where I'm like, you know, I'm just going to chill. I'm yeah. just going to vibe. I don't yeah. want to be all... Take it all too calm. seriously. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know? Because that gets tiring, too. You get tired from that. Yeah. I And and for me, I'm just a talk. I, I've realized I'm a talker. I will engage more with chat than I do with gaming. Mm -hmm. And so I actually try to warn people, like, hey, if you're going to play with me, heads up i'm not gonna take the game <laughs> i'm not gonna take it serious like and i might like i might just die right away because i'm too interested in what's going on with chat so yeah um, it's because they be having some good conversations and you oh, gotta yeah. play catch up yeah <laughs> you do have to play um yeah especially yeah if you you have to play catch up and for me Sometimes I read, I read it too fast where I misunderstand what I'm being told. Yes. <laughs> and everyone's you read like, it, you're like, oh, snap, that's not what it said. Yeah. They're like, you, or I, I get told, um, you, you totally misunderstand what, what this person was saying. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm just like, I'm sorry. I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, girl. I, I know that feeling. Like, I like to interact with the chat. Like, I feel like I'm looking more at the chat than the game. Then, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um because you just don't want to miss anything <laughs> oh yeah yeah no that's for me especially because um i have gunfighter Another. and I, I oh thank you for the follow real quick welcome to the come zone <laughs> thank you for the follow i appreciate it um i was gonna say um i have a gunfighter and she i don't know if you've ever met gunfighter yeah, hey. but i've seen her in the chat sure she I, I don't even have a word to describe her, but she gets wild. Um, <laughs> so I'm just like, I'm like, oh, shit. I don't know what she's going to. I don't know what's happening. So I have to I like to read chat because sometimes I'll see something about somebody getting sacrificed, somebody getting pegged, somebody, somebody, you know, getting chainsawed. I don't know. There's just a lot. Of stuff. <laughs> yeah, you don't. Yeah, I <laughs> that's me in the chat when i'm in people's streams yeah i'd be like because they have like that voice thing where it says something in their voice uh-huh and i'd be like putting it into their point of view i'd be like um uh let's just say for an example right they'll be like i like getting pegged that's me i'm putting that in the chat <laughs> <laughs> But in their voice. That's funny. I, I'm the, how do you, I don't want to say, I stir the pot, basically. Let's just yeah. say that. Oh, uh, I would, um, I would say that's about right. Um, yeah, that, no, yeah. Uh, Clam Slamo Rain, thank you guys, or Anus, thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you both. Um, hey, I hope, yo. <laughs> I hope the game's been good. No, yeah, um, like right now, Clam Slamma just said about Gunfighter, if you only get pegged, you're lucky. And, and Mushu, and what I said, you don't simply meet Gunfighter. If you ever meet if you ever meet Gunfighter in a chat, um, yeah, you will learn. You will find out what the crazy things are about to go on. Oh, girl, I'm excited. Come through. 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Well, you. I actually have a tag on my streams now that say "Beware Gunfighter." Really? Yeah. <laughs> Oh. I'm ready for anything. Throw it oh at god. me. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I got oh. you. <laughs> oh god. Uh, so, uh, real quick though, uh, because we're almost done with the streaming questions. Um, mm -hmm. What advice would you give someone that just started to stream or someone that is wanting to start streaming? Thank you, Clint mm -hmm. Emma. I love you. Uh, <laughs> to be mentally prepared with how much effort it takes to start off um obviously you're gonna have a slow start if you mm -hmm. are not it, as involved a fucking catalina wine mixer oh. Uh -huh. oh, take a sip um you can if you want or please continue and we can take one after oh she's like i'm gonna take a sip <laughs> <laughs> mm. shots thank you for the lurk delicioso anyway <laughs> <laughs> uh what was i saying <laughs> oh um oh oh my god no i just forgot i just literally it literally just went away oh so basically that you're gonna have a slow start there you, you go you project corn oh yeah a definitely yeah. yes a slow start yeah you're gonna have a slow start you're gonna have to accept those kind of days you're never always gonna have like a consist of like 10 viewers within the day you know unless you're like really big and up there right yeah um but you gotta have to accept the fact that it's gonna be slow it's gonna take some time it's gonna take some effort obviously like i said don't burn yourself out yeah um you gotta have to have like a good set schedule and uh because people are gonna start getting used to the fact that you're getting on at a certain time um Yes. And then at that point, it's just a matter of ways of improving. So you try to ask your chat, you know, what would, you know, what would you like to see? Uh, what would you like take out? You know, like you want to get the feedback because if not, you're not going to improve. If you don't have any kind of feedback, right? Yeah. I, I feel like it's just a matter of communicating with your uh, community yes. and going from there but the fact that a huge part is that you know it it's not going to change overnight unless yeah. you're playing with drake but other than that it's not going <laughs> to change overnight oh yeah um yeah don't don't get demotivated easily just because yeah. you keep having maybe two to three viewers you'll you'll get there if you keep putting in that hard work, if you keep being consistent. Um, also, yeah, having a, so something that I have realized is having a community has helped me have more feedback or they've given me such really good ideas on how to be better. Um, and that's something that um, I really appreciate and I hope that I show it. That's my thing is I always hope I show my appreciation. Um, but I've also told people, um, and I've said this before on, on interviews or on my streams, is that if you're just starting out or if you're thinking about doing it, about streaming, tell your family, tell yeah. your friends, let them be there for you as a viewer, as a supporter, because that actually is what helped me. Um, because I would have five people watching me and I would know that it was my mom, it was my stepdad, it was my sister, it was my cousin. And it helped. And it also it also helped me get more comfortable because when I first started, I didn't have a camera. I didn't even have a headset. All I had was the Xbox. But then being there and and knowing that they were there helped me get a little bit more comfortable into streaming. So don't be afraid to tell your family or your friends and also something that I've learned from that is you kind of find out who's there for you and who's not there for you. Back. <laughs> Preach. Preach. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's for real, though, because like, obviously you already know who's who, right? Mm -hmm. And you already know who's there. And that's the crazy part, because like you would think there were some people who would be there for you that you would consider as close. Yes friends yeah. family but they end up actually being the ones that 
are never there. <laughs> yes. Um, That's the crazy part. Crude, that yeah. hit real. I don't need to take That it. hit me. I'm going to take a sip too because I'm, I'm not going to cry. Mm. We crying now? I'm about Don't to cry. cry. I, oh, I'm about Please to don't. cry. <laughs> I got you. Oh. Um, okay. Yeah, no, I, I, def I felt that. I know it. that's something that um, with streaming, I've, I've seriously realized um, who is there for me and who's not there for me, especially for people that I've been there for or that I've given my time or my money to. And so... Um, yeah, I'm sorry. That really, I'm so sorry, guys. I don't get emotional no, no. on here, but that you could. that really <laughs> hit home because like there are certain people in my life that I thought would be there for me, and yeah. because I've helped them so much throughout their life. Yeah, but it turns out to be like they're the ones that are the most backstabbing hoes. So yeah, and uh, I don't yeah. know about you. For me, um, oh, we have a first time chatter. Welcome in R twenty. Um, Welcome to I was the gonna say, Zone. Um, I was going to say for me, um, it, it was the people that was closest to me. Like literally, that could be the closest to me. And I'm just like, wow, it, it was such a it really was such a wake up call. <laughs> yeah, no. But like you have to th consider the fact that even though you have some really close friends, they're busy too. You know, they have a life. That, yeah, that I understand. Um, and at that point, you're like, I get it. Whenever you come in mm -hmm. through the stream, I appreciate that as so much because you have a busy life and you're willing to take the time to come yes. in and, come and say hi, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's the greatest part because you know oh, that yeah. they're still willing to support you even though Those, they have mm -hmm. such a hectic life. Yeah. Though, yeah. Um, those people that I definitely appreciate or even, yeah, that too. It, like, yeah, because like what we were just talking about, who's, you do see who's there and who's not there. Exactly. <laughs> um, but I was going to say. But I appreciate everybody that's here. You know what I'm saying? Even yeah. some people from your community has came through. And I'm just oh, like, hey, yo. That, w Jenna. Oh, that makes me feel really that makes me feel really good you have no idea oh <laughs> anus <laughs> we always see him um oh like urns i think that's his name urns urns, urns has been there yeah i he love that last time urns is actually urns is a very um hold on let me answer his question really quick what size am i i'm i'm a seven and a half in women's shoes Look, boy, you know, kids of six. Have we got to know? It's they're not that small. They just look small because they're far away. Leave me alone. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> no, but I was gonna say, um, Ernst is also a W supporter. I have seen him go into other people's streams. <laughs> Clam, we're gonna share some suit shoes. No, but I've seen him go into some streams. So the fact that you say that people from, um, I don't want to say from my community, but from the community of chillers go into your stream. That is such a freaking like that is so awesome. That is a W right there. And and I really try to express that to them like, hey, guys, like, let's make sure we show love to this person. Like, I don't want it to just be me, but let, let's show them some support if you can show them, show them love too. you know. Yes, we're, we're the cock, <laughs> the community of chillers. We're cock, <laughs> good old cock. But no. So the fact that you said that, that earns a w um thank you guys sure. thank you. um oh by the way guys um speaking of streaming real quick i'm sorry mushu yadi is actually streaming right now so please don't be afraid to stop into yadi's stream tell him hi show him that love and the support that he shows us um that'd be awesome <laughs> yeah. oh and don't forget i have mushu's links up pinned up top so please don't be afraid to show her the love, support. Give her a like. Give her a follow. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> of course. Of course. Like I said, uh, I try to express that a lot because um, for people that are new and starting out, I know what it feels like to be at one view or to be at no views. So or to not have a lot of followers. So, um, you know, I like to I don't know how to, I don't know how to explain it. Just giving out that love. <laughs> We like to spread the love around here. Oh, yeah, Mushu. Um, but Mushu, before we move on, is there anything you would like to add about streaming? Let me see. 
Um, other than the fact that it's a really fun hobby to do. Uh, I think to me, streaming has brought a different side out of me mm -hmm. in a way to where I'm actually taking it into real life, basically. Okay. Uh, like I'm saying, I'm more talkative now, so I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not afraid of what to say. And now I'm actually taking that into real life because if not for certain situations, I wouldn't say certain things, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And now I'm just like open book. Which is a miracle because I like keeping to myself. Yeah. Um, but I know that maybe if me talking to other people and me like telling them, oh, you know, I do streaming for a hobby mm -hmm. and they'll start talking about it to like other people, I could grow like that. But yeah. other than that, it would be like growing also more of a, a friendship after that as well. Because yeah. not only am I creating a connection i'm growing myself but i don't want to say that it's for that benefit because obviously for me it's just i'm just streaming at the moment right yeah but in the long term it could help me so it could be a w for both ends <laughs> yeah, i like that i like that <laughs> it's almost a balance um yeah. Oh, real quick, Project Quarren, thank you for being with Mushu and I. I hope you have a good rest of your night and thank you for the shots. I appreciate that. Um, have a good night. Um, if you would like to know what I'm streaming, um, it's on my Twitch schedule. I try to update it as much as I can, but I stream Monday through Friday, um, 8 p.m. CST um, every time. Or it's in the server as well. You can check it out. Um, sorry, sorry, Mush. I had a, uh, you're good. You're good. You um, do your thing, girl. Uh, and this is from chat. Um, who in your family would you? Oh, Jesus. Gunfighter. Really? Okay. I'm so, okay. This is from Gunfighter. <laughs> who in your family would you eat? And who would everyone else eat? What? <laughs> who in my family I would eat? Yeah. And, and then who would everybody else eat? Who would everybody else eat? Night Project Corn. What the hell, Gunfighter? I can't say their name. But there's someone in my family that I would eat to just to get rid of them. Oh god! Oh, it's one of those. I have a I have a Thea like that. Um, her name is Thea Arena, and we don't like her. <laughs> we don't like Yo, my mom. Her name is Reina. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, well, her name is Reynalda, but she doesn't like oh. it, so she says right now. Yeah. Um, if I had to eat anybody from my family, it would be my tia because she's a. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> say it. The tea is hot. I know, God. <laughs> That's so funny, though. Welcome in, Talon. Um, so okay, so you guys, so you would eat that person, but uh -huh. so for fair. Okay, we have to know. Say it. Who is it? We gotta know. I can't say it. Well, I don't say I can. Is it an and? I highly doubt that hoe is here. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, whisper it to us. Just whisper. <laughs> Honestly, it's a few people. It's like three. Three people. Oh, three. You would eat three people? I don't know. I mean, two of them are puny, and the other ones, I don't know. I yeah, haven't just, seen that person just, in a years. Oh, whisper it, whisper it into the mic. Just say it, just say it quickly. Hmm. <laughs> just say it. I, I don't know. think I can. Why? Just because say it. Wanna, is it your there's sister? A, there's a few people who know who I'm talking about. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's because just say this. Just, this is a fucking. The first the person mic, starts with the letter A. Okay. The second person starts with the letter J. And actually the third person also starts with the letter A. Wait, so wait, hold on. Is it so is it are they so is it your can you at least tell us if it's your aunt, if it's your uncle, your nephew? Two your of niece? them are cousins and Ooh. third one is a ex best friend. Oh okay. Um, oh, real quick, we owe a sip. Thank you, Clam Slamma. Oh, yes. Cheers. Cheers. 
That's so funny that you brought that up, Ernst. We will be getting to that topic here soon. That's so funny. I'm sorry. I had a, that. That was a gunfighter question. <laughs> um, <laughs> so now to our next topic. Um, I like to just call it anime. <laughs> um, so I know that you're into anime. And I actually learned that about you yesterday. Um, yes. I would... So my first question is, what got you into anime? That's a good question. I was kind of already into anime when I was litter. Litter? What the hell? Litter? litter? <laughs> You're me. I say, I say something like litter. Okay, I'm sorry. Little. 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 <laughs> um, I was really into Sailor Moon at the time. Ooh. And I still am, for sure. Um... It's just like it's a different world. Like you're mm -hmm. at the obviously back then you would get so judged for watching anime. You would be like, oh my god, yeah. I'm fucking weep. Um but now it's so like it's so popular, it's crazy. To the point where you're like you seeing the post, like, wow, look at these these fuckers over here watching the anime that I got judged on back yeah. then, you know? Um it's just the amount of effort they put into an anime is crazy. Uh, mm -hmm. I love how, like, the action scenes, the storylines for some. Uh, obviously, my favorite is Hunter x Hunter because I got that tattooed. Yeah, I'm going to have um, to watch that. Hunter you, Hunter. you can skip a few of the, the episodes, to be honest. If I'm, if I'm going to keep it real with you, you can skip, like, a good portion. Oh, okay. <laughs> but... It's a really good anime. I like it. I like the fighting scenes personally. Um, uh, there's another one that I like. It's called The Seven Deadly Sins. That's another good one. Uh, personally, the first three seasons, the last mm -hmm. two, there was like budget cuts and it. You could tell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then uh, Sword Art Online is another good one. Yeah. I love that one, but it's just how do you say it? it brings out for me it brings out a good creative side of okay. me uh every time like I, I like to draw i like to paint right oh okay and whenever i see like a good scene mm -hmm. from the anime i take a screenshot <laughs> oh, okay. and i'm like i want to paint that i want to draw that you know whatever yeah um but it's just i don't know it's just Anime is it's great. I haven't watched the recent like new ones like uh, Demon Slayer. Everyone's gonna hate me for that. I have not seen that one. I'm writing these down. I actually just yeah. got into an in anime. Girl, got some recommendations for you. Oh yeah, don't worry. That was one of my other questions on here. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen Demon Slayer only because it was shown so much on TikTok that I kind of already seen the entire season basically <laughs> oh i hate that tiktok does that whenever new shows yeah. come out fucking spoilers fucking i TikTok. know demon slayer is awesome <laughs> don't get me wrong yeah. but so now that i've seen snippets of it i feel like if i watch it it's gonna it's yeah, gonna ruin it for me so what would you say is your favorite anime so far oh girl hunter hunter what you mean Hunter Hunter? Okay, I got you. I actually wrote that down. Yes, ma'am. Hunter Hunter. I have so many things of Hunter Hunter. My poster is over here of Hunter Hunter. I, I don't know if you could see this painting. Yeah, I can see that one. Uh huh. I oh, wait. <laughs> oh, wait. Which one? It's. Oh, shit. oh, that right there? Oh, that's really nice. That's actually. That's really nice. I can actually. No, I'm not gonna take it. Down. Did you actually draw that frame? What's in that frame as well behind you? Actually, With the glasses. This one. That yeah. Uh, drawing that my man made of me. He's also okay. an artist. Oh, that's really cool. I want. I want to be drawn. <laughs> I'm like. I want... Oh snap! I see my sisters in the chat. Holy I crap. got you who I will ask her. Love. Ooh, DTX, welcome in. Real quick. Welcome That's my sister. <laughs> she 
his sister. <laughs> and then, I better drop that yeah. question. And then I, you can't actually see that one. I drew uh, or painted a Sailor Moon over there too. Yeah, I know Sailor Moon is a very big popular one. I know my sister likes that actually. Yeah, my sister also likes Sailor Moon. She likes Sailor Mars more. Sailor what? Mars? Yeah, she's the red one. Oh, okay. I'll, it, have, to, I'll have to check that out. I, like I said, I just started. I'm on Dr. Stone, which I recommend. It's actually very uh, good. You need a ketchup. <laughs> I'm trying. Trust me, I'm trying. Mm, never mind. I can't create it. Never mind. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I, I can show you. I did a painting for my... It's my sister's husband. I don't know what that's called. <laughs> so, speaking of drawings, though, real quick, Mushu. Have mm -hmm. you and your significant other ever drawn a piece together? <gasps> yes. Oh, really? Oh, it was... It, it, was on a, it was actually when we first started dating. Um, uh -huh. and it was in his notebook. And the thing is, our thing was to go to Waffle House all the time. Late at night, we would go to Waffle, Waffle House, House. <laughs> and we would start drawing. Uh huh. And then we started like, he's more of a black and white, obviously realism, because he drew me. Yeah. I'm more of the color. Okay. So at that moment, we did that one together. I think that's. The only one, technically, I actually took over one of his old paintings and started doing like weird shapes to it. I, there's a word for it. Um, and we still have that, actually. Uh, there's just certain things that we do. He hasn't really been drawing lately, and I kind of hate mm. him for that. Mm. But, you know, it is what it is because he, <laughs> he works every day. Oh, so. yeah, I, I could see that because I can't yeah. even imagine how much time drawing takes. So I could imagine if you're working all the time, not wanting to, you know, do that. It um, definitely takes a lot of time. Uh, speaking of your guys' relationship, how long have you guys been together? Uh, Almost four years. Oh, wow. Yeah, it will be four years in November. What's your secret? <laughs> it's because lo mantengo. Yo lo mantengo. I, I'm the provider. <laughs> That's uh -huh. how they stick around. That's, That's it. That's how they stick around. You just gotta be the sugar baba. That's how you gotta be. And then you're set. <laughs> <I'm> like, <wait. laughs> Uh, hold on, Gunfighter. I didn't see two turnt Mike's question. If he could please rewrite it. Like I'm just I said, kidding, you guys. Um, I'm kidding. Hold on, sorry, Mushu, real quick. You guys, if I don't see your question, if I don't ask it, please don't be afraid to highlight it again and put it in there. Um, just because chat's going off, so I might miss it. Um, just so you guys know. <laughs> um, that's so funny. No, for reals, though, tell me what... What is your guys' secret? Because four years is a long time. It really is. It really is a long time. It's technically more because we were fuck buddies for like six months. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And honestly, I just feel like we can we we do the a lot of the same things. Um, like I said, he he draws, but he does black and white. I do mostly color. Mm -hmm. Uh, he plays video games. I play video games. We both played soccer. Um, we both went to the same middle school, uh, but we didn't start actually talking until after high school, um, which was when 20, well, we graduated 2015, right? But yeah. we kind of reconnected back in 2018, 2019. Uh -huh. Um, and basically it's just a matter of having someone to do the things you like to do yeah i can see that we both like anime and like i said you know we can relate to a lot of stuff which is crazy you would think that you know we would have some kind of opposite to each other which we do 
in a way because he is very outgoing when he's comfortable mm-hmm. um for me if i don't know you like back then i'd be like i'm not gonna talk to you i'm sorry yeah you're quiet mm-hmm. i'm quiet so that's one thing and i don't know it's just a matter of communicating we've been through a lot i want to say uh, a lot of hardships and a lot of you know things that you would think that a lot of people nowadays would just say bye i'm leaving um yeah but i i didn't want to be that person to just give up on someone because of their past you know i i know i for sure i wouldn't want that for me so yeah i kept trying it would fail from time to time but you know you just you just got to keep going you just because if not what's the point if you're not going to go through some stuff with someone then at that point it's just never going to really work out because if something inconvenient happens then you just know it's going to end right then and there but you want that support you want that person who's willing to to push you to be better to keep growing and on all in all honesty he's always really wanted to stream and when we got together i was actually pushing him to like do it you do know because you, if you're not going to do it now when are you going to do it yeah so period you know <laughs> communication <laughs> is key <laughs> <laughs> yeah communication and goals i think are key in the relationship <laughs> um something that i've learned at the past uh yeah. oh yeah risky ringo welcome in oh you do a let me show you sorry you're good this, um this is a uh, sailor mars this is the painting i did for my sister's oh, wow you're a really good artist mushu how much do i have to, to pay you for you to draw me <laughs> Ooh, girl. i would love for oh, you I to draw for free really because i would really love to be drawn <laughs> Really? Uh, I can show you. Hold on. I got you, girl. Look, I have my tablet right here set up. Oh, you do it on your tablet? I do some on my, uh, what's the name? My tablet. And then if I really, really, really like you, I'll actually paint you. <laughs> I love that. Well, you. You'll have to. I did this my... for a friend a while back. Let me flip it. That's right. You know what's crazy? As I thought you were an artist. Ooh. Okay, so you do like the whole body. You don't just do a face. You do like the it's whole a- body. Yes, ma'am. And usually I don't see that a lot. Most of the time when I see drawings, I always see just the face. Oh, no, girl. I do the whole body. I did. <laughs> He's going to hate me for this one. <laughs> but I did it as an emote for my man. Oh, that's cute. That's actually really cute. That's really <laughs> cool. Especially the fact that you did it on a tablet, I think is a lot cooler. I know. It's, it's, it takes a lot of effort because I was learning how to do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It, it wasn't something that I was necessarily taught, but I was encouraged to do by my friend DK. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was actually the one who helped me get the iPad um which i appreciate him so much (laughs) yeah um but yeah it's it takes a while but i mean art doesn't come to be easy it takes a lot of patience oh i can imagine (laughs) no i can imagine um but mushu back to real quick back to anime and mike yes two turn mike asked this a long time ago i'm so sorry mike i will get to your guys's questions um who do you think would win in a fight? Gear 5 Luffy or UI Goku? And why? Um, honestly? Ugh. If I'm gonna, I'm, if I'm gonna speak facts, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When we when we compare things like that, Goku is not really that strong. She said in a way. <laughs> is is uh, to me like if you compare Sailor Moon, right? Mm-hmm. Goku. 
Then the moon can beat that ass. Let's just say. Ooh, I'm just saying. She said it. <laughs> I'm uh, leaving her. Oh, no. <laughs> Leave me. You ain't going to get no more nice things. Damn. She said it. And she's like, I don't care. <laughs> YOLO. No, I'm just kidding. I love you. Don't leave me. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Shots, I did oh. see the, our DTX's question, and I will get there towards the end. Promise. Um, sorry. So, um, uh, so, what is your favorite male and female anime character? Girl. All right. So, if we're talking. Okay, let's see. Right. Um... I used to find... Actually, I'm going to show you a picture of him. I actually drew this, okay? One second. Okay. Got you. I came prepared. I, I, I got you guys. I'm trying. I <laughs> almost dropped my drink. Oh, my God. Let me see if I can find him. Nope. I'm almost done with my second one. Great. I feel like Itachi is fine as fuck, but, like, you know, that's just me. But then I used to think... I got you. Bon from Ooh. Seven and Deadly Sins. Okay. I used to find him very attractive. I used to, but not like as much in his, as anymore. But <laughs> night night the ice. guy from Fruit Basket, the two main characters, the the rat and the and the and the cat. I forgot their name. Holy crap! I find them very attractive. But that's just me. I always then, thought... I was going to say real quick, I always thought I was weird for finding cartoon characters attractive. But I, I do, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> they can be. Shoot, you're like, shut Come on. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> um, um, Female-wise? Mm -hmm. Her name is... Oh, what's her name? She's also from the Seven Deadly Sins. Uh, but she's the like the she's like a ghost type girl. I forgot her name. Ooh, I wish I knew who you're talking about. Um, bro, the way they make anime anime females, I'm like, goddamn, goddamn, goddamn. <laughs> yeah, they're fucking big boobs and stuff. And they're ass. literally all they go for. <laughs> yeah the big yeah they oh they all of them have you noticed all the women have big tits and they try to make it seem like they have a big ass but it's not it's just curved yeah just the curves oops <laughs> oh my god but it's crazy because they all like jiggle to an extreme i like when things jiggle <laughs> <laughs> she likes it to jiggle um, Luckily, Ernst, I jiggle all the time. You're good. Ern says, are you talking about the fairy girl who fell in love with Ban? No. The, she's... Um, what are they called? The Ten Commandments. She's from the Ten Commandments. She's the one with the purple hair. I actually drew her. She's at, I was in the process of drawing her, actually. <laughs> Uh, what's her name? I don't remember. It's 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 like at the top of my head, but I don't remember. Okay. Um, I was gonna. So take a oh, sip, yeah. bitches. We have to take a sip. That's fucking Catalina wine mixer. Mm-hmm. Malascula. Oh, um, how do you say Malascula? Yeah. Mm. That I'm I like her. Up. She was creepy, but <laughs> um, <laughs> if you could meet a, an anime character, who would it be and why? It could be an anime character. Mm. Oh, I can actually compare. Got you. One second. You're not good. me promoting my freaking drawings. No, Sorry. you're no. That's what this... No, promote yourself. I love it. And I love your drawings. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Suna. From Sword Art Online. 
Oh, wow. I love her. She's pretty. She's really pretty. I actually was uh, her for Halloween. <laughs> um, if you so real quick for drawings or for drawings, if you had how much do you do drawings for? <laughs> uh, it depends, honestly. Uh, it depends on the detail. It depends if I'm gonna draw it or if I'm gonna paint it. If it's gonna mm. be digital, it just it's a matter of what the person wants. Mm -hmm. um typically like for the sailor mars one mm -hmm. uh i f believe i charged 80 for it only because it was actual wood as the canvas mm -hmm. not okay. like the the regular one but when it comes to digital art it's obviously cheaper it doesn't take as much time um drawings it does take me a little while only because i'm a perfectionist <laughs> Um, so as soon as I mess up, I'm going to redo it. Um, <laughs> but typically for those, it would be like 60. But like I said, it depends on the detail, how big, you know, stuff like that. Okay. So as a lover of anime and art, have you ever thought about creating your own magna? And if not, what would you say is holding you back? Uh, it's called manga. <laughs> oh, manga. Sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm You're so good. Sorry. <laughs> but thank you for correcting me. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> uh, would I create my own? Honestly, that would be so freaking cool to do. But the amount of time it would take, I'd be dead by, fin by the time I finish it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's definitely interesting because obviously you're going to have to draw it. You're going to have to figure out a storyline, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, that definitely would take time, but I would totally do it. OK, so um, how do you feel about live action movies that are based on anime? They're always shit the first time. You think so? <laughs> They're always bad the first time. So you uh, when you say bad the first time, are you meaning like like they made it the first time and then they did a remake of that movie, then it's good? Yes, only because like, for example, The Last Airbender, the first one, uh, the live action was terrible. I've never Everything seen about it. it was terrible. Like the mm -hmm. characters, it, it just didn't make any sense. And then... Mm -hmm. um, I believe they made a remake and that one was a little better. Like, I want to say mid, you know what I'm saying? But I, I don't know. It's just, it's weird. For like example as well, for Mulan, when they did the live action, I didn't like it at all. I haven't seen it yet. It's Basura. I wouldn't waste my money on it. Okay. <laughs> it's more of a like, for the live action for that one was more of like the old storyline so basically oh, mushu yeah. isn't there um none of the songs are in it it's what? more of like realistic i guess you can say oh see yeah i i'm like that too i i've learned to love comics like the justice league and all and stuff like that but um i was gonna say i am I'm, i've realized i'm very picky as well when it comes to stuff like that when they make that it's like, please make it based off the comics. Please, please make it based off what the appearance is, what they look like, how they act, their personality. Like, I want to see that come to life. I don't want you to see, I don't want to see what your, your thought process on what it is or what it, like, you know, like them changing it up, how they see it. I want to see the version of the movie or of the book exactly. or of the show. Like, so. I think they made one recently for One Piece. I think. I, I, yeah, I saw that on Netflix. I've never seen the show for it. Or the, is it an, was it an anime show? I don't know. Yes, it is an anime. <laughs> uh, but they just did a live action, I think. And based off the freaking characters, I was like, I, this look like it's going to be good. <laughs> okay. I... And see, and stuff like that, um, anything that's live action that came from like a comic book or just from a book or 
you know something from that i need to watch that stuff first or read it first before i watch the movie because i need to know that i want to figure out what the differences are and if they actually did did it justice you know what i mean exactly because if not you're gonna think it's good yeah and then the person who's <laughs> seen it already or read it they're gonna be like girl what the hell they're like this isn't good i like this is horrible <laughs> um <laughs> so do you have an anime you wish they would make in live action for sort out online okay why why for that sure. one i love the storyline to that one um and honestly i even think that why well, I, I obviously people post stuff online right they yeah. were talking about how someone was already creating a sort of virtual reality game mm -hmm. just like Sword Art Online, uh, which is crazy to think about. Mm -hmm. But I feel like if it did become live action, it would be amazing. But it had to be like spot on with when it comes to like the events that happen in the anime, mm -hmm. the characters... Just like the way One Piece is kind of set up right now, the live action, I feel like if it was like that, girl, golden, chef's kiss. Golden. Um, so I was going to say, what was I going to say? So coming, coming to an end about anime, at least on the topic of anime, um, what are, because I, I know you said a couple already that you would suggest, but is there any more that you would suggest? Because I know you said The Seven Deadly Sins, I know that was one. Uh, let's see, Demon Slayer. You, I've, you said is good. That you've heard that it's good. That you've been meaning to watch. Uh, I'm trying to think. What else would you recommend to watch? Because, like I said, I'm new to this. <laughs> if you're really into romance, and like, I like romance. if you're really emotional, I'm emotional. Watch Fruit Basket. Basket. Oh, I'm already sad. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and if you really want to cry, it's a movie. Uh, I think I it's don't a movie. Wanna cry. It's called <laughs> uh, a a silent voice, silence voice, something like that. Silence oh, uh, voice. that one, and then your lie in April, something like that too, as well. Your lie in April. Okay. Um, is there anything that you would like to add about anime before we um, move on? I freaking love anime and fuck y'all who judge me in the best. <laughs> um, oh, and I have to ask this. This is the third time Gunfighter has put it in, and I feel like I need to ask it. Have you ever killed one of your aunts before? Like, I supposedly did. Um, what do you mean, killed? Like, murder. <laughs> murder. I mean, yes, but like, <laughs> what? Uh, in my head, yeah, there's one, but I'm really cool with her now, so it's like, right. um, they like to say that I killed my aunt, but I didn't. What happened is, is I lifted up both of her legs and she rolled down the stairs is what happened. She didn't die. She just got bruised up, but she didn't. Die. <laughs> She's like, for me, I think for me. I think I shot her. And like imagining it, or you really did that? Yeah, no. <laughs> imagining it. Oh no, not me. I I really I really did have my aunt fall from the stairs. <laughs> I didn't mean. I wasn't trying to kill her. Hey, no, she. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now. She deserved it. The bitch deserved it. That's all I'm gonna say right now. She deserved it. Welcome in, Allie. Or Ally. Is it Allie? Yeah. Welcome to the cum zone. Welcome um, to the cum zone. No, she deserved think... it. Yeah, baby. Oh, Red. Thank you. I, I love you, Red. I don't think I've ever done something like that. <laughs> it's okay. Like I said, I kept to myself. I didn't do much when I was little Take other than it, soccer bitches. in school. That's cat about cat it. Wine I never really had that kind of thought <laughs> or done something like that. Well... If it, I didn't, I, okay, I'm gonna say this right now. I never imagined doing it to her. It just had happened in the heat of the moment. Okay, okay, long, okay, long story short, my aunt stole my shoes. 
She is a 30 year old woman. She stole my sandals, tried to run up the stairs because she kept telling me she didn't steal them. She got them from Dollar General. And I was like, bitch, ain't no way you got this from Dollar General. And what happened was as she's walking up the stairs midway, I picked up both her feet and she fell and rolled down the stairs. And I'm gonna say something right now. She deserved it. And as soon as she was hit the floor, I took my shoes off and I put my shoes on me. That's all I have to say. <laughs> That's all I have to say about the moment. That is all. <laughs> that is all. That bitch deserved it. <laughs> she stole my shoes and tried to say she got them from Dollar General. Like, bitch, I don't think so. I know you ain't getting those from Dollar General. Like, like no. Um, hold on. I'll be back, Mushu. Uh, we owe a sip, but I, I drank my last, my last can. I have to go get another one. So BRB. Okay. <laughs> Yay. Have fun. Go grab a drink. Sipping on a drain. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna say right now, how how are you gonna be 30 years old and steal from a child that's 16 years old? I don't think so. <laughs> that's true, bro. What the hell? Um. But anyways, um. Wait, can okay. you hear me? Even though you're gonna be right back. Oh, wrong one. I'm on the wrong scene. Hold on. Oh shoot. Where is it at? Is it this one? Yeah, it's this. Oh, okay, there, there we go. Chat. Jay, there we go. go. Um, real quick, guys. So Mushu. Oh, we owe our sip. Let's take our sip real quick. Hey, salut. <laughs> salut. Mm. Mushu is killing it tonight. I wish I wish I could do like a round. I need to make a round of applause sound. Yeah, I'm killing this. I'm not killing people. <laughs> Other than on cut. Other than I didn't I didn't kill her. <laughs> I had to like Well you hurt her. <laughs> hey, she just okay. Anyways. She <laughs> deserved it. She that did be a sound. <laughs> oh, I'm about to make that a sound. <laughs> I'm about to make that a sound. <laughs> um, no. But um anyways, so our next topic, and this is my favorite topic, is called Would I You Rather? Are you ready for it? Would you rather? Yes. Oh shit. Alright, let's go. Alright, first question. I always make the first questions not too terrible. <laughs> so would you rather have horror horror films play on loop every time you close your eyes? Or have the Macarena stuck in your head all day as soon as you wake up? Four films. Oh, really? What? Yeah. Do you, do you sleep to horror films? They're going to be some good films, I'll tell you that. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, gunfighter, you might have to ask that again, just a heads up. Um, okay, next, would you rather, would you rather suck on a used tampon for a minute or make out with the public toilet seat for a minute? What the? Uh, <laughs> welcome in, Hawaii. Welcome in. Bro. You said a used tampon? Yeah, which which one do you do you want to suck on a used tampon for a minute or do you want to make out with a public toilet seat for a minute? The oh, world needs fuck. to know. <laughs> no, it's not her tampon. It's her it's her sister's tampon. <laughs> he said play the toilet at this point. <laughs> the toilet. Oh, what? So, oh, that's tough. Um, you know what? The toilet's disgusting, but also the tampon. I don't know. I don't know which one I would pick. I don't know which one I would pick. I've, I've had to clean Honestly, public bathrooms. <laughs> yeah, the bathrooms are disgusting. People just don't give a fuck when it's not their toilet. I'm going to say that right now. And like, have you ever sucked your own blood? Like from my finger? Yeah. Yeah. All right, this fuck it. Use tampon. But that's your sister. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. 
Yo, okay. look, I, I, because if you think about it, at least you know where it's coming from. <laughs> okay, that's true. That's true. Toilet? So many people sat on that hoe. <sighs> Okay, okay, yeah, I guess I could... I don't know. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Rola, thank you so much. I love you, thank you. Um, So for our next... So for my next Would You Rather question, and this actually, and it's our last Would You Rather question, and it actually leads into a hypothetical scenario that I love to do now in interviews. So I hope you're ready. Um, would you rather there be a zombie apocalypse or an alien invasion? Zombie apocalypse. Perfect that you said that. That actually goes with the hypothetical or hypothetical, hypothetical, hypothetical <laughs> scenario. She's feeling it, you guys. She's feeling it. It's okay. Um. <laughs> so, okay, let's say there's a zombie apocalypse and the zombies and these zombies are runners. They're runners. They sprint like motherfuckers. Um, I fucking hate those. So, what weapon would you want? With yeah, them? Baby. And let's and we're shot say, time. Okay. <laughs> We Wait, we what? always we always shot. I don't know if you want to take a shot with me, but we always shot. Cholo. Thank you, Talon. Thank you for the biddies. Um, we are getting this shot ready. Not working tomorrow. Fuck. Oh. Okay, you ready? One, two, three. Okay. Oh God. Um. Fuck. We did it. Um. Oh wow. Okay. Um. Okay. So like I was saying, <laughs> thank you, Talon. I appreciate you, Rolla Red. Thank you, guys. Um. So let's say there's a zombie apocalypse and the zombies are runners. What weapon would you want? And let's say it has unlimited ammo. What three things would you want to bring with you? And what three celebrities would you want there to wait? Would you want with you? Okay. You're saying that the zombies are runners. Let me see. I, I have personally, to Oh, sorry. If, if I'm talking gun wise from like Todd. No, uh, yeah. Go for it. Um, I personally like the M13. Mm -hmm. um, and I also like the MP5. Okay. So, those two guns are my favorite. Um, when it comes down to bringing three things with me... We're going to be on the run. Um, obviously, the essentials. The food... Uh, right, there's one. You have two more things you can bring. A man's because you're gonna be needy. Um, we need that dick. <laughs> you need oh, the dick. I need to get fucked. Or a girl. Uh -huh. Or a girl. Whoever you need to get fucked by. Each, you know. <laughs> um, let's see. The third. What would be that third? Ammo. Extra. No, uh, no, you have you have unlimited ammo already. Oh, unlimited. Okay, 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 okay. So if we're having unlimited, damn. Oh, well, what else would it be? My car. No, no. Just kidding. Just kidding. Because there won't be any more gas. Never mind. Okay. Um. Food. Your I'm partner. So I'll bring my cat. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I would bring my dogs. I'd bring my dogs. So now, what three celebrities would you bring with you on your team? You know what's his name? I don't. I'm not really good with celebrity names. Um. Tell me a movie. Zombie Land. Uh, Jesse Eisenberg. Yes, the white guy. There's two white guys in there. Mm. Is he the bald? Oldest or... The oldest one. The oldest one. Uh, Woody. Isn't it Woody Harold or something? Woody Harrelson. I got yes. you. Yes. I got you. 
Don't fear. And yeah, Woody Harrelson. That's who it is. Yeah, Woody Harrelson. Okay, so you got Woody Harrelson. <laughs> just for humor, you know? <laughs> yeah, just for humor. Um, what if I buy second? Can it? Oh, well, it has to be a real celebrity, right? Um, can John Wick be one? Yeah, John Wick, Kino, Kino Reeves, Kino Reeves, John Wick. Okay, we got him. We just need one more. What would be my third? Honestly, I don't know. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> He's not going to work for anything Who other than for me to pleasurely sleep, see uh -huh. the weekend. Ooh, the weekend. Okay, the weekend. All right. So I guess there's technically five of you because there's you, Woody Harrelson, Kino Reeves, uh, The Weeknd, and your partner. So there's five people. Yeah. All right. So since there's five people, let's say you're surrounded and one of the four, or I guess one of the five, including you, have to sacrifice themselves so the rest can live. How are they dying? How are they dying? I did say it wrong, Gunfighter. I don't know how to say it. I'm just a girl. Yeah, how would they die in order to sacrifice themselves? Um, and who is it? Who is sacrificing themselves? Whoopi. Who? The one guy, the white one. The oh, Woody the, Harrelson? Woody, there we go. Okay, how does he sacrifice himself? So he's gone. How does he have you seen the the movie uh 2012 yeah the way he's ending in that volcano he jumps in the volcano uh, no so he's standing on the hill and the volcano erupts so like those things start flying flying down from the eruption uh-huh that's how he would die oh, that's the only way i can think of it to be honest Okay, well, I was going to say he could blow himself up. <laughs> <laughs> that too, but I mean, yeah, dramatic because it's that guy. All right, so Woody Harrelson gone. Now there's four yeah. of you. So one of the four gets bit, but they didn't say that they got bit. Who would you say is the one to do that? John Week. John Wick. Oh, really? You think he would? I don't know. I think he would say it. I think nah, he would say it. I feel like Loki the Weekend would fucking sing it. Can't oh, be. yeah. <laughs> okay. So now the one that just got bit has bit one of the three. Which one of the three did he just bite? The Weekend. <laughs> <laughs> the Weekend. <laughs> Hey, right. change. It's just <laughs> so how? I don't how have do this they, team, fuck. How how do they both go out then? Shooting each other. Shooting each other. Okay, I can see that. So that just leaves you. So that just leaves you and your partner. Yep. All right. All right. Okay. I'm gonna give you the ending. Usually, there's always a fucked up ending, but I'm gonna let you have your ending. That's actually really good. Yeah, yeah, you actually outsmarted me in that. <laughs> um, so that okay. So now to the next topic. I like to call it the big debate, and I do this in every interview. Mm -hmm. Um, does fruit go on dessert? Yes. Oh, Mushu, no. What you mean? Shoo. <laughs> no. Isn't dessert cake? Like right, cake is dessert, and usually, like the tres leches has okay on it. But, okay, so I like, I like tres leches. I love tres leches. I love the cake. Uh -huh. I love it. But I just I can't eat anything else. I I don't like strawberries on my cheesecake. I have to have either a chocolate cheesecake or a plain cheesecake. I don't like any I don't like any pie that has fruit in it. It has to only be a chocolate pie. I can't do it. Is that crazy? 
Don't be oh, it's too. just preference. I feel like it deals with a lot of texture as well. I just can't do fruit on anything. Just like with my pizza, I can't have pineapple on my pizza. Ah, you're one of those. How dare you? How dare you? Do you like pineapple on your pizza? Yes. What? Okay, tell me why. Why do you like pineapple on your pizza? Honestly, I, I, it's just... I really... I, it adds a little bit of sweetness to it. For sure. So, I've tried pineapple on my pizza. But I never... I just don't understand the hype to it. I... It's it's not really much of a hype. I think, like I said, it's preference, you know? Maybe. A lot of people say they don't like ketchup, but they're willing to have it in their burger. You know mm, what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. So, like, for but, me, I was going to say, like, growing up for me, I never used to like my food touching. I used to be really weird mm -hmm. about that. But now, now that I've, I guess, grown up, I don't know if that's what it was. I, I don't mind if my food touches. I even like to mix it up sometimes, depending on what it is. Like my steak, if I have steak and mashed potatoes and gravy, I'll just take that steak and dip it in there. You know what I mean? And just eat it together. Yeah. Type thing. <sighs> but I just, I can't with fruit. Fruit on anything else other than eating it alone. Like, I can eat fruit and, like, like apples and chamoy with some tahini. I can eat that mm -hmm. all day. But, like, anything with, like, I don't know, like, desserts involved or just, like, food, I can't do it. I don't know. What in the, you know what? Preference. That's all. <laughs> she, she's trying to forgive me, like, like, Lord, <laughs> let me have patience with this woman. Just patience with her because, because she's just not there yet. She's just. No, no, so, like like i said it's just preference like people really don't like certain things and obviously they're not gonna like it together you know yeah. they like it separate. for so me what, I, it doesn't really matter <laughs> so what is your favorite dessert with fruit on it there's leches there's leches and uh, mm -hmm. i can see that it's so crazy because i can eat that just fine i don't mind it i love it actually it's so good and like, oh, well, there's another one. <laughs> I wouldn't consider it eating it with something else, but you've had like choco banana. Yeah, no. I can't never eat had those. Them? I can't eat those. Does it remind you of something? No, I love dick. I love sucking dick. Oh, I shouldn't have said that, but nonetheless. <laughs> No, nonetheless, it. nonetheless, I just never liked them. I just, first of all, bananas, I'm not a fan of bananas. Like, and it's a textured thing. It's a textured uh, thing for you me. are. Yeah, but I am. The hard bananas. And so <laughs> it's, like, it's like the question of lesbians. Are they really lesbians because they use the strap on? Yeah. I can see that. Okay. Yeah, make so... Sense. Oh, uh, okay. That makes sense. I, I will try one. I will say this. There is something about me that I will say. I Wait. will try it. You're going to try a strap-on or you're going to try a choco banana? No, not a strap-on. Not a strap-on. Oh. But with food. <laughs> Fucking Mushu, I love you. With food, I'll try it. Um, uh, real quick, guys, just so you know, we are coming very close to an ending of this interview. So if there's any questions that I missed or that I didn't get to ask, please put them in now. Um, Mushu, this is a question that was asked earlier. Um, what are your um, and I believe this was from XX who maybe I'm wrong or maybe this was from Alex. I, I can't remember. Sorry, guys. But it was uh, what are your dreams for the future? To survive. <laughs> to survive i love that i love that no i mean generally speaking i would love you know to be financially stable i guess you can say mm. ever since like i, I when i switched jobs and like covid was happening like i couldn't i haven't been able to like recuperate from that, right um and it sucks but like to one day to actually be proud of working for something that I like doing. Yes. Would be one thing. Finding um, that. Yeah, it's just, ooh, girl, it's struggling. 
it's it's tough out here in these streets i'll tell you that oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah no i felt that especially with the way prices are now um it's yeah. tough it's definitely tough having money and yeah oh god <laughs> but like if you think about it i make this joke a lot mm. i'd be like I should have bought a house back in third grade when I was fucking learning how to oh, write. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, I've seen that. Um, that's so funny. Yeah. Um. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, to be honest, I would really love to do something that deals with graphic design. Um, I guess that's okay. one mistake that I regret back in high school. Mm -hmm. I, I knew I was really good at drawing and stuff like that. Um, but I was so like pushed in my head saying architecture, be a lawyer, be an engineer, you know? Yeah. Um, and I did, I pushed for being, uh, an aerospace engineer. Uh, I practically wasted four years of my life for, uh, wow. a paper that I'm probably never going to use, uh -huh. um, because I chose the wrong thing, but that's only because that was told, you know, do this, yeah. do that, do this. I can see that. Uh, and now that, like, if I ever do really get the opportunity to go back to school, I would totally go for graphic design and learn all this thing. Because if you think about it, you know, technology has taken over and literally graphic design is kind of the way because it's kind of what you need to do now in order to, like, promote and, like, yeah. learn new things. So that's definitely something I, I would rather do for my future and my dreams and okay that'd be crazy <laughs> that'd be amazing i and i i do hope that you can um you know um i do hope one day on this journey because now i'm on this journey with you now that i got to meet you i do hope to see you there and um like gunfighter just said right now just keep presenting it until you see it so oh oh no that's not for me no no that's not for you that was for me i'm uh, sorry i took oh. it as sorry i'm a little bit i'm a little bit drunk but um just keep what i'm trying to say is just keep doing it until you make it you know what i mean yeah. just keep you gotta fight for it for the things Take that sip, you want to do oh great god damn it Rain. we owe a sip <laughs> yes ma'am mm. um who is an overhyped anime character and why sasuke why he's from naruto why do you think he's but, overhyped? I mean, it's cool that he can do all this. Um, what is it called? I forgot about it, Loki. But mm -hmm. he does all these things. But in reality, he's not really a good character. He's mm -hmm. he isn't really there for his his wife, his kid. Okay, <laughs> he pops up every now and then. You know, it's just they involved him in a lot. But in reality, it wasn't necessary. Like, he wasn't, like, a really good main character. Because, obviously, there's, like, three main characters, right? Okay. I'll have um, to watch it. I'll definitely have yeah, to watch it. I, I would just watch Naruto. Like, Baruto, I feel like it's not that that great. <laughs> um, I was going to say, uh, so real quick, um, shots, are we invited to the Karnasada? I wish we could all have an apart, uh, a carne asada. I think that'd be badass. <laughs> um, uh, so hold on real quick before I ask you uh, second to last question, Mushu. Um, my last, okay, okay, I can't say this. My nickname in school from a kid named Rango was carne asada. I'm not going to tell you why, but he used to be like, carne asada, what's up? When are we going to be invited to it? So that's actually really funny. Um, but Mushu, um, this is from Gunfighter. They want to know, what do you think about my sounds on my soundboard? I guess. You sound? Yeah. Oh, like I guess. the like, cum thing? I, I, I guess, well, yeah. Like any of the sounds from my soundboard. What do you think about them? I guess Gunfighter wants to know. It's definitely something that if someone was new, they would be like, what the hell? Like, at first, I was like that, too. I was like, did that really just, like, said that during the Oh, stream? really? No. That's so funny. No, but it's it's definitely, like, something that makes you want to stay and watch more to see what else pops oh. up. Um, um, 
Thank you for, for sure. It threw feedback. me off though. Thank you. Thank you for the feedback or that feedback. Okay. Gunfighter. God, I don't know why. Gunfighter wants me to play them for you. Okay. I don't know. Can you hear them or no? I'll try it. I'll try it. Um, I'll do the this one. Mmm. I love Sony PlayStations. Can you can you hear that one or no? Yes, I did. That was right in my ear, ma'am. Uh, okay. Well, I only, I don't worry. I only have, and I, then I have this. Mmm. Cotton candy and pickles make me wet. <laughs> That's the I.O. Pickles make I me wet, too. I feel like they're sexual. I love pickles. Mm-hmm. I could deep I love pickles, pickles any too. Day. <laughs> I love pickles. <laughs> That's why I'm with a man. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, pickles and blowjobs make a good team. <laughs> like a uh, yeah. No, but anyways, Bishu, um, we are coming to an ending. Um, my last question for you is what's one question you wish I would have asked you and how would you have answered it? Oh, what's one good question? When are we going on a date? That you had a boyfriend. <laughs> We're not married. We're not married. Oh, no. <laughs> I, all I have to say is I'm already in a thruple. I'm in two thruples right now. So <laughs> I am. I'm blushing. Oh, um, Mushu, thank you. <laughs> I like that. You just threw your shot. You know what's crazy? I got denied on stream. Well, no, you didn't get denied. You didn't get denied. You didn't get. She I'm, said, I'm, "I'm already involved." I, I, okay, I will lie. I am in two thruples right now. So, <laughs> so I'm. I'm, work. I'm married to one of them. Well, to two people. What? <laughs> I, I uh, okay. I am. I'm. I'm in a lesbian couple. <laughs> well, not. It's not really. We're not really lesbians. <laughs> Um, no, but thank Uh-oh. you, Mushu. Like thank you, beautiful. Who did that? Who did that? I don't know who you are. Hold on, real. Hold on, sorry. I gotta pause. Whoever you are, anonymous gifter, Uh-oh. I will find out Looks who like you the are. Kicking in. Just till you wait. But thank you. I love you guys. Um, Mushu. Or, yeah, Mushu. Uh oh. Looks like the meth is kicking in. Don't think that I forgot about you acting out Mushu as adult entertainment. You I said, why? Oh, like the just, get, just, give, just give us I'm one just one line, please. <laughs> I just want one line. Just one line of what, what your Mushu character Uh-oh. would say. Looks like the meth is kicking in. Thank you, anonymous gifter. I love you. I swear, I, I swear to you, if I was drunk, I would do it. But I'm not just, drunk. Just tell us one line, please. Please. I'll do anything. I'll do anything. I'll do anything. You said she'll do anything. Be saying, no, Ruby. I'm learning to now, like. If I, if I really wanted you to do something for me, I still wouldn't do it. What if I? <laughs> what if I called you daddy? Yeah. <laughs> I just want one line. One line that you would say. It doesn't have to be too crazy. It's just one line, and I'll call you daddy. Bye. <laughs> No. How about this? You tune in tomorrow in my stream and I'll do it. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. You guys heard that. You guys heard that. And if anybody wants to see her act this out, like I said, I already have Mushu's links pinned. Her Twitch link is up there. Go give her a follow. Turn the notifications on when she goes live and be there. Because when I enter there, she's going to say it. She just said this on stream and now we have it on there. So. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. You gotta call me mommy. You gotta say. Oh, she like she likes being called sugar mommy, not not daddy. Yes, it's mommy. <laughs> call me mommy. Um, mamas. <laughs> okay, mamas. Okay. Oh my gosh, I feel I don't know. I've never said mommy. I've never said mamas before. Okay. Anyways, yes, hold on. Mommy. Let me recoup. All right, mamas. Before you go. Please let the viewers know where they can find you and your content and what you're working on now. Hey, well, first of all, uh, can y'all clip that for me? Because I need to save that for later. Uh, <laughs> uh, you can her. find me 
<laughs> Twitch that TV. How do I? How do I? I'll be on usually by 6 p.m. Central Time. Uh, oh, fuck. you know, I try to bring the good vibes as much as I can. I rage a lot. I'll tell you that right now. But, you know, I, I do some stupid shit too, so. <laughs> Have a good time. Yeah. Hey, yo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Hold on, hold on. Uh, um, I don't know. Okay. Real. <laughs> uh okay guys please please thank mushu again for being here and like i said i have all her social links pinned up oh. don't be afraid to give her a follow a like show that love and support i really appreciate you guys doing that um and i know that she ah fuck god damn oh, fuck, get off of me ah, okay um yeah um anyways i'm so sorry mushu i'm so sorry oh fuck um you're good i wish that was me Shit. <laughs> he fucking caught me, bro. <laughs> okay. He has to go outside. Uh, anyways, um, I know that she would really appreciate the love and support from you guys. Definitely. <laughs> I appreciate so, you having me, not gonna lie. Yeah, of course, Mushu, and I'm so happy that you um gave me gave me um gave me this time to interview you seriously i'm a motherfucker sorry he just bit he just bit me sorry <laughs> um okay sorry let me recoup um thank you for being here seriously i appreciate it more than you'll ever know um you have been such a fun guest i've had such a really good time um i'm so happy that i got to know you i got to know you a little bit more and your journey especially because i I, I believe I just met you a couple weeks ago, or at, what is it, last week, so... Yeah, last week. And, and um, you are an amazing person. I, I just want to say that right now. Your drawings are beautiful. Oh, Jesus. Um, <laughs> um, your, dry, your drawings are very beautiful, and... Um, Another one. What you're trying to do is very beautiful. Um um 86 thank you for the follow i appreciate Welcome it to the come zone thank you for the follow I'm not gonna lie. you're gonna make me cry oh fun. no <laughs> i i hope it's a good tears of joy tears of joy is always a good thing no but seriously you are you really are a beautiful person inside and out um uh and i don't even i don't even know how to express the words right now but um oh, shit. <laughs> no seriously no seriously um but yeah, you you have been seriously fired tonight, and I know I'm not only feeling that, but I know Chat's feeling that. So, <laughs> when I was so nervous, I literally almost had a panic attack before getting on. Oh and, no, and I get you. I I've totally I've been there. I've definitely been there, but. Oh gosh. Okay. Well, I guess this is one question. One last question from Gunfighter. Okay. <laughs> no, but um. But no, um, and the fact that you said that um, that you're a very shy person, that you are very quiet, you don't really like to talk because, and I get that, I, I've been in those shoes before, I've definitely felt that, but I would just like to say, and I would like to tell you, I'm proud of you, I'm very proud of you, the fact that you came on here today with me, I, I know that was already a big step for you, and you probably wanted to cancel I could tell that you wanted to back out because you were like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. It's, it's really going to happen. I want to back out. Um, I, I've been in those shoes. I've been there. But the fact that you were like, no, I said that I was going to do this and I'm going to do it. I just want to say I'm proud of you. And um, I am more than thankful of you being on here. <laughs> Damn, girl, you know how to make a girl cry. I, I make myself cry, so I believe I'm good at it. <laughs> Are you good at this to make someone come too? Yeah, I'm very good at making people. Okay. <laughs> oh gosh, it makes I, need to, it's I need to stop talking. Um, but anyways, this is the last question from Gunfighter. Um, what would you say if Gunfighter told you there was a stripper pool in Jenna's background? Are you putting on a show for me? Uh, actually, I can't even use my stripper pole. Um, it's it's not sa safely attached up top. Like, if I easily just push on it, it's going to fall off. 
it's just more of a like a how do you say like you a, fall for me we're good oh bro you are smooth <laughs> you are smooth um it's more for like uh um a decoration <laughs> No, but uh, Mushu, I will let you go. It's already close to 11, and I know you said you have work tomorrow, so I need you I need you to get some rest, girl, because I need you to be awake and ready for a stream tomorrow because I'm going to be there, and I'll be ready for that some of that action, so. You're right. <laughs> All right. Man, I don't want to go, but... <laughs> adult life adult for <laughs> adult life no i felt that but um i can't wait to see you tomorrow mushu and thank you so much for being here you know what i'll take oh, one more shot for you oh i'll take a shot i'll take a shot with you i'll take a shot hold up for one second give me one second chop out of here this is for you go get your own let me close this too tell me you <laughs> are we right. gonna take a shot I don't know. I just dropped my mic. Oh, shit. Chapo, get off me. Oops. Okay. All right, here we go. This is, wait. Salud. Salud for Mushu. Everybody say cheers for Mushu. <laughs> In chat. Thank you for having me. I appreciate everybody. We appreciate you. Salud. Hmm. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, I, I, Alrighty, Mushu. Get some right. rest. Have a good night, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Thank you for having me, everybody. Oh, I appreciate it being here. <laughs> Bye, Adios. Mushu. Adios. <laughs> Bye. Alrighty, guys. Of course, Ernst, I had to have that shot glass. I just love that shot glass. It's actually my favorite shot glass. But anyways, guys, have a good night. Thank you for being here. Um, as always, I appreciate you all. Mushu's links are still attached to her socials, so please don't be afraid to give her that follow and support. Um, you know, as always, I love you guys. Good night. And also put Mushu. If everyone could type uh -oh. Mushu in chat. Like the meth is kicking in. Who is this? Who is this? Who is doing this? Who is doing this? Who is being the anonymous like gifter? Is kicking in. Whoever, whoever you are, I will find out who you are, and I'm going to thank you by blowjob, by titty sucking, by pussy licking. I don't know who you are, but I will uh -oh. find you Looks out. Like the meth is kicking. Anyways, guys, for everybody, please. Thank you, thank you for the subs. Thank you for the biddies, everyone. I hope everybody has a good start to their uh -oh. weekend. Looks like the method. Oh, and we just got a follow. Trippy, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the cum zone. Welcome to the cum zone, and I can't wait to see you guys back in again. Uh -oh. Seriously. Looks like the meth is um, Mushu, so you didn't have to, but thank you for the biddies. Thank you so much. You didn't have to do that. The fact that you gave me your time tonight. Thank Another you. One. Oh wow, trippy! Yes, trippy. Welcome, Welcome to the cum zone. Come zone. But um, you guys, put please yeah, put in the chat. Me. Please put in the chat W Mushu before you go. That's all that I ask. Put W Mushu. Seriously, I really appreciate her time being here, especially on a Friday night. I can't express that anymore. But thank you. I'm gonna be heading out. I wish you guys nothing but good and positive vibes, especially for the weekend. And I can't wait to see you Monday, 8 p.m. CST. We're playing COD. If you want to join, you want to be on the team, let me know. Add me. And we're going to play together. <laughs> all right, guys. Have a good night. Seriously, I love you all. Musho, if you're still listening, I love you. <laughs> Bye.